ఇంకొక రెస్ట్ ఫుల్ ఒక సర్వీసెస్ టీమ్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ అండ్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఒక రెస్ట్ ఫుల్ సర్వీసెస్ టీమ్ కోర్స్ అజెండా అజెండా నెంబర్ వన్ టీమ్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ సో ఇంట్రడక్షన్ టీమ్ నెక్స్ట్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ టీమ్ నెక్స్ట్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ ఏ అవుది ఒక ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ అప్రోచెస్ అవుది జావా కాన్ పిక్ ఒక అప్రోచెస్ ఫోర్త్ వీ విల్ ట్రై టు సీ టీమ్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ విత్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ విత్ ఏ హౌ టు యూజ్ వెబ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ హౌ టు యూజ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ విత్ వన్ టీమ్ దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ అన్ అనటేషన్స్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ అనటేషన్స్ టీమ్ సో మెనీ సిక్స్ వన్ వన్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ టీమ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ వీ ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సీ అరౌండ్ దిస్ ట్వంటీ ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ వీఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సీ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంవీసీ టీమ్ అరౌండ్ ట్వంటీ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ we are trying to see spring mbc 20 examples we are trying to see is spring mbc team once we are good with the mbc now we will be started our applications like restful services team this before going to start our restful services what is ok introduction b ok introduction a b soap versus rest c now what is okay now okay, next one c b c x b r architecture b jacks b versus jackson okay jacks b in depth team jackson so these are the very very important to understand the rest of the services team once you are good with this one i would start spring rest of the services team so now how to handle like exceptions global exceptions the next one team how to use your interceptors looking team 11th one team now summary examples on spring rest full of cap services of examples Twelfth one team, summary team. If you are okay, I would take okay, fake use also team at the end. Hope you are good with this course. If you are all are okay, now we will start. Now, what is this question? Uh, okay, okay, you can ask a smart comp. Okay, you can ask your question, please. I would say, the pre-requesting of this course is or java is anywhere it is required team next one team spring servlets team next one team basic knowledge on spring core team spring core to understand any spring modules team spring core is mandatory team spring core is mandatory spring core is the base module for all the spring frameworks all the spring modules so if you want if you want 
understand any model in spring if you want to understand any model in spring spring core is the mandatory team spring core is the mandatory team okay now let's see team okay, next one next one team okay now okay, let's see team okay, next one so now what is spring mvc team what is spring mvc spring mvc is it is the one of the module in spring framework it is the one of the module in spring framework spring mvc is used it is used to develop to develop web applications and distributed and distributed applications what is a publication what is a distributed applications okay i will explain to you first i will focus on web applications so we can develop web applications using servlets comma jsps okay we can develop web applications using servlets and jsps now okay question is why we should use spring mvc to develop web applications if already servlets common jsps are 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 in place why we should use spring mvc to develop web application if already servlets and jsps are in place now my answer is so using servlets and jsps we can develop web applications but developer has to write lot of boilerplate code developer has to write team first half an hour team you may get some okay background team next we will jump into our okay use cases architecture okay examples and okay everything team so develop web okay, applications uh, now here developer has to write a lot of boilerplate code team developer has to write a lot of boilerplate code lot of boilerplate code team understood team lot of boilerplate code no so now here do you know okay, anyone uh, do you know okay, anyone so how to read the data from the what is mean by boilerplate code okay the commonly used logic is called boilerplate code for yeah. every application yes the code the code which is which is common for every common for all the classes is called boilerplate code now here what is the common code here the code which is common for all the classes is called boilerplate code is called boilerplate code team now my okay, intention is what is mean by boilerplate code so for you know basic let's on servlets team here you have a client you have a server here it is a client 
here it is a server team and we'll send a request http request server will give you a response to and okay http request process request send http a response to very okay, important team so now so generally in the servlet now here what kind of code would be there see whenever you got a okay, request from your client so i am writing directly method team servlets to get to do service here what kind of code is there http servlet request request comma http servlet okay, response okay, response it would be there team now here what would be happened here you have to write so much of code team how so much of code you have to write string username is equal request to dot get parameter of username request to dot get parameter of username string password request to dot get parameter of password have to write team you have to write so much of logic here like that you should prepare your java object team so if you, okay, if your project is required 10 servlets you have to write in this logic in where in 10 time okay in 10 places team see the code which is written common code here common code is convert your request to data into java object is the common code team this code you are writing in every classes team so what is the common code is that is convert http request params into java bean into java bean team here is not only username and password here so many of arguments will come okay, arguments means let's like here you will see here you will see here customer data first name it is a form data last name it is a address so now here what you will do you will extract the data from the your 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 http request and you have to prepare the customer object here customer c is equal to new customer now here what you will do customer dot set first name how it happens okay, request to dot get first name so you have to write all this okay means every request developer has the responsibility to write the code manually to write the code manually convert your http request into java object team so almost for all the servlets team developer has the responsibility to convert your http request into java bean team suppose in our project suppose in our project we will have 100 we will have 100 servlets are required then 100 java beans 100 java beans will be will be okay 100 java beans will be prepared by the developer will be prepared by the okay, developer 100 java beans will be prepared by the okay, developer prepared by the okay, developer okay now it is the first problems with okay, servlets and jsp steam 
to write a lot of boilerplate code and 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 mixing of business logic and presentation logic team it is a problem number one and problem number two team what is problem number two in servlets what is mixing of business logic and presentation logic team so now file number one so here in here in in servlet class we would write both business logic and presentation logic so if developer want change any business logic or presentation logic it is very difficult difficult to modify the source code team it is very okay, difficult to modify the source code team that means okay inside of this okay inside of this servlet you will write your business logic as well as you will write your presentation logic team see to overcome these two problems team to overcome these two problems so now here see spring has introduced a one module is called spring mvc spring has introduced one module is called spring mvc team spring mvc what this spring mvc will do what this spring mvc will do number one number one team spring mvc will removes the boilerplate code with the help of front controller with the help of front controller spring mvc will removes the boilerplate code with the help of front controller i would say here front controller is nothing but dispatcher servlet now spring mvc will separate will separate the will separate the business logic from presentation logic spring mvc will separate business logic from presentation logic that means what is mvc m v c m stands for model v stands for view c stands for controller stands for model v stands for view and c stands for controller okay controller so now here view means it is a presentation layer model means it is a business layer controller means controlling the request okay now yes okay okay let's see team spring mvc will separation of business logic from presentation logic so that so that developer can change developer can change or modify modify the business logic without impacting on presentation layer 
without impacting on presentation layer. Without impacting on presentation layer team. Understand team? Okay, without impacting on presentation layer team. Let's see. Third one team. Spring MVC is the is the one of the one of the gang four gang of four design pattern team design pattern so do you know all all java design patterns was okay, developed by this four four developers team that's why gang of four they kept name is called gang of four team and and internally internally okay internally uses uses three design patterns internally uses three design patterns one is one is strategy design patterns another one is observer design patterns other one is composite okay, design pattern i would say the combination of these three design patterns is equal to spring mvc i would say this combination of these three design patterns is equal to spring mvc spring mvc team. okay so what is the strategy observer composite this is not okay right time team it will take minimum two three hours maybe four hours only to spend on this okay, design patterns but i am giving a okay, heads up spring mvc okay, internally will be using this design patterns team understood team now here here now okay let's see team very very okay, important team see all the request so it is a okay, dispatcher servlet right we'll start our okay, architecture team Be before start our okay, architecture all the request go to point all the request comes to dispatcher servlet and it takes okay, help of so first i will write okay diagrams team then we okay, will be okay, understanding okay easily team. i will start using one simple diagram team then you will be okay, understanding okay easily team okay, without a okay, diagram it would be okay, difficult to okay, understand team let me start spring mvc architecture or we can start here only now see team here here you have a client team here we have a client client will send a http request okay. now just try to understand here i have a dispatcher servlet please try to understand team. and uh, handler mapping what is handler mapping and all okay, i will explain practically team please try to understand team spring mvc architecture it is called controller view view resolver It is called view. Send a okay, response to whom? To our client. Let us start now. It is a Spring MVC. First request will go to where? 
it will go to where okay dispatcher servlet it is called okay friend controller then it will go to where handler mapping what is a handler mapping and all okay, i will explain here it is our our application controller here it is a view resolver view view resolver here it is a view name okay never a request will come from your client team request will go to where here from the okay, dispatcher request it will, be, will go to here what is the job of this handler mapping i will explain team okay everything okay, i will explain what is the job of this handler mapping okay, i will explain team what is the job of handler mapping okay, i will explain team now so okay step number two now once it is okay it will go to okay, step number three once it is okay it will give a okay, response is something it will give a okay, response i would say at that time logical name it will give i will explain all this tough team okay, okay practically just be on hold okay, i will explain all this stuff okay practically now request will go to view resolver based on the view resolver okay, response the data will be okay, displayed on where here view resolver will give something location it will take that to okay, location it will display the view presentation send the HTTP response it is a okay, HTTP request the HTTP request Understanding now how to do what to do now we'll see practicality. If you understand in this, you are okay team. Okay, you will be understanding almost okay MVC, but no problem. Two, three okay, examples you will be able to know. Then only okay, you will be understanding all this flow team. Otherwise, okay, don't worry. Two, three okay, examples okay, you will be in no steam, no then only okay, you will be okay, understanding okay, okay, everything team. Okay, don't expect okay okay even uh, starting this okay diagram steam it will take okay, some time please try to okay, understand team okay now see what are the components in spring mvc architecture what are the components in spring mvc okay, okay architecture team so the components are handler mapping dispatcher and servlet view resolver controller and view team now you have to understand what is the use of this handler mapping and okay, what is the use of handler mapping and what is the use of this controller and what is the use of this view okay, resolver team okay let us start so okay, if you can understand this one okay, nothing is there in okay project team okay trust me you can do it all of okay, examples team now let's see you can give one second team. six seven eight now we'll see here 
Spring MVC Architecture Spring MVC Architecture Team Now point number one Okay, okay point number one Architecture Spring MVC Architecture Spring MVC Architecture has has there are has five components one is i would say front controller which is acting as a dispatcher roulette that's very important to team another one is handler mapping Another one is controller. Fourth one is view resolver. Fourth one is view of a resolver team. Spring MVC architecture has five components front controller, handler mapping, view resolver, fifth one view team. You know, again, I am telling if you are not understanding, no problem. At least you will see one example, okay. You will be okay, able to know clear idea, team. Please be have some patience, team. Now, first one okay, dispatch servlet. What it does, team, it takes care of it, takes care of. Perform common processing logic that is boiler plate code. Common processing logics that should be applied, that should be applied to all the request to team, that should be applied to all the request. All the request coming from that are coming into our application that are coming into our application. Okay, it takes care of performing common processing logic that should be applied to all the requests that are coming into our application. Coming into our application. So that means next one team, please. Dispatcher servlet, I would say DS team okay, instead of writing a okay, dispatcher servlet, okay, dispatcher servlet. Okay. Will bind the will bind the URL pattern. URL pattern of URL patterns. URL patterns. URL Patterns dispatcher servlet will bind the URL patterns team like dot htm comma star dot web star dot htm star dot mvc star dot two star dot action and so on etc means if any okay, request will come from like html or web or mvc or do or action your dispatcher servlet will take care team okay okay next one next one team okay, second one so please okay, try to understand team it takes care of common processing logic that should be applied for all the should be applied for all the all the all the request team means in your project 100 okay 100 request will come what are the common logic for 100 request team 
what are the common logic for 100 request all the common logics are available in where okay front controller okay next one team handler mapping this is okay responsible for to identify the handler mapping okay helps helps in identifying the in identifying the controller to be used for that request Just try to understand in my project in my project i have a 10 controllers in my project i have a order controller i have product controller i have customer controller i have okay uh, you know stocks controller i have a okay, different okay, controller team okay if you want access this order now here what happened url is slash order url is slash product url is slash customer url is slash stock See, i never request will come how you are how you are okay dispatcher and servlet knows which controller it should be executed so during your application startup all the see the first the okay, request will go to the dispatcher request will go to handler mapping based on the url pattern handler mapping will give the okay, response as a controller name your dispatcher and servlet will returns the uh, okay executes that controller corresponding controller class that means based on the uri handler mapping will return controller name then dispatcher servlet will execute that controller based on the uri handler mapping handler based on the uri handler mapping handler based on the uri handler mapping will return the controller based on the uri handler mapping will return the controller name then dispatcher servlet will okay, execute that controller dispatcher servlet will okay, execute that controller okay now okay now we are good third one third one i would say here handler mapping is nothing but request mapping i will explain request mapping okay next one team controller now here okay dispatcher servlet okay, takes care of common processing logics for each request and okay, response but, but controller is used for processing the logic controller is okay, responsible for processing the logic to handle request to handle request okay to handle okay request processing the logics to handle the okay request team controller is okay responsible for processing the logic to handle the okay request now controller always will give logical name logical name as the response what is logical name and all okay i will explain team if you wait for some 10 minutes okay you will be understanding of okay, everything team the controller is okay, responsible for 
logical name name as the responsibility next one logical name as the responsibility dispatcher and servlet as the responsible to take care of common processing logic for each request of our application dispatcher servlet don't know how to perform specific logic in the processing in the request the programmer has the responsibility i would say if you go in this architecture this controller knows how to handle the request how to process the request of specific order how to process the request of specific product how to process the request of specific customer how to process the request of specific customer dispatcher servlet logic is common processing logic for all the controller common processing logics for all the controller all the controller whereas whereas this controller has the responsible for specific okay, specific controller logic so dispatcher and servlet don't know specific logic in the processing request programmer has the responsibility to write request to processing logic for to handling the specific controller same like here but the controller is always written logical name what is this logical name i will explain to you now fourth one next one team next one team fourth one team view resolver very very important this view resolver is a okay, simple team i would explain later this okay, in depth view resolver has the responsibility it takes care of converting your logical name into physical name converting logical name into physical name what is a logical name before that number 1 controller will returns logical name to dispatchers and servlet dispatchers and servlet will send logical name to whom view resolver let us assume that what is logical name logical name logical name here logical name is success here logical name is success what this view view resolver will do view resolver will convert logical name into physical name that means okay hey controller you are sending success huh? i would give physical name is success dot jsp a hey, view resolver your logical name is failure huh? okay physical name is failure dot jsp hello controller are you giving logical name is order order sir uh, i will give physical file name is orders dot jsp next to team this is the way how how we should write team this is the way how how we should uh, know this view resolver has the responsibility to convert logical view name into physical view name team okay that means once this controller will process the request we will understand more once the controller will process the request then send the response as logical name logical name as okay, logical name team okay, let's see logical name now here see 
once the psychological name is done logical name will give an input to who view of resolver what this view of resolver job is it convert logical name into physical name it convert logical name into physical name okay that's it once this physical name is called i would say view i would say view Now here what is view here there are there are different views are there there are different views like so view means how to render how to view means how to okay, rendering the data okay, rendering means okay, displaying how to okay, displaying the data that is you want to okay, display that data you want to okay, display the data in pdf you want to okay, display the data in excel you want to okay, display the data in web page how you want to okay, display the data is called view you want a pdf or okay, excel or you want web page how you want to okay, display your data is called view team how you want to okay, display your data is is called view so today is your okay, excel okay, tomorrow means jsp okay, tomorrow means like a okay, web page just you will modify your your presentation logic only here you should not uh, you know change your presentation your controller earlier all mixing in single okay currently your view is in web page okay you if you want to convert your web page into your pdf okay just you will modify into your view layer only so if you want to switch from one technology to another technology so you can switch only here in view layer if you want to switch switch from one view technologies to another view technologies another view technologies then we can we can change only in we can change only in view layer okay only in view view layer now now you are using jsp you want to switch from jsp to team leaf see okay if you want to switch from one technology to another view layer happily okay you can switch to team happily you can switch so okay you will be okay, informed to view resolver view resolver will take care to switch from this technology to jsp to another okay, technology so okay, that's it team this is what our high level architecture team now high level architecture now simple team i would say request summary of the flow then we'll start our practicals request to team client request from client request to, to okay request to flow will go to where the dispatcher and server team from the dispatcher the request will go to where team okay the request will go where handler mapping from the dispatcher again the dispatcher is only one here again from the dispatcher the request will go where team again from the dispatcher the request will go where team view resolver it is a resolver what is a resolver and all okay i will look explain team now once this okay, resolver is okay okay team then okay, dispatcher only finally it will go to 
where it in view i would say here common processing logics are available here common processing logic okay summary team what is common processing logic okay i will explain team then flow will it will identify the identify the controller here passing the logic and returns model name or logical name convert logical name into logical name view view means what format you want to okay, display the data what format display the data like pdf or excel or web page or what which is what so if tomorrow if you want to switch from one view to other view if you want to change your only processing logic without impacting this view you can modify the processing logic okay team so it is all loosely coupled to team there is no way okay tightly coupled to team okay everything is loosely coupled to team okay everything is loosely coupled to team now stuff will start team okay, let's see please try to understand team example 1 spring mvc spring mvc just hello world okay example hello hello world implementation as to team create maven web project next one it web.xml right okay web.xml what is the common for all the request to team okay, dispatcher only right what is the common for all the request to team okay dispatcher only right in in web.xml we have to configure sir i will provide both xml and annotations okay everything sir i will provide both okay okay xml annotations okay everything sir please okay now sir what is there here okay number one configure dispatcher roulette for this smart sir how to route the request i will explain in practical star mvc star web star accents team please so configure okay dispatcher servlet configure dispatcher servlet inside of the okay, dot xml now how to configure web app i am not writing web app hope you know this basic one servlet servlet name servlet class url mapping url pattern here servlet name servlet class
here url pattern bullet name url pattern basic team it is slowly will move into an annotation team xmls no one will, will use now only for understanding first example only i will go with the xml team all our okay, next examples i will go with annotation approach only team please now here i would use star dot htm or star dot mvc or star dot do or star dot action all team my sarulet name is dispatcher sarulet class is org dot spring framework dot web dot sarulet dot and so on dispatcher sarulet Roulette name is this one. Now, please try to understand team. So, it is your web.xml. Whenever I called http colon localhost colon slash login dot htm login dot JSP login dot whatever it is. It is star dot HTM, right? Star means like anything team or star dot MVC or star dot means like anything team. They never. Hey, these are like extensions, uh, smart like extension means it may be, uh, you know, you can go for a like HTML or Files of extension team, okay, that's it. Okay, nothing is, it may be supporting for star.html, it would be okay supporting for star.mvc, all are your URL patterns of extensions team. Okay, if you are using Stutz framework, Stutz are star.actions okay, team. If you are using okay, HTML, star.html team. If you are using, okay, different technologies want integrated with the spring mvc different technologies url patterns team this so spring mvc will be supports for multiple url patterns team which url pattern you will take it's all up to you team okay whenever login.html will be happened now here what happened dispatcher servlet object will be created hope you know that's why i told pre requesting is servlets i told very clear to understand this spring mvc pre requesting is servlet sir so whenever request will come from star dot htm dispatcher servlet object will be created dispatcher servlet object will be created please try to understand when never come like this http colon localhost colon 8081 or okay 8080 team every two hours break will be there that means okay 10 am we will have a break team 10 or 10 15 we will have a break okay, 8081 slash login dot htm and team login dot htm login dot htm team whenever the statement will be executed now here what happened dispatcher 
servlet object will be created why here you are calling which one star dot htm so who, who will create servlet container as the responsible to create the dispatcher servlet object to create the dispatcher servlet object to create the dispatcher servlet object okay. create the dispatcher servlet object t please try to understand t now dispatcher and servlet required for what handler mapping and controller and view resolver how dispatcher and servlet will knows handler mapper and view resolver and controller so now next one dispatcher servlet always always look into dispatcher servlet always look into no next one dispatcher servlet is always look into always looks for servlet name hyphen servlet dot xml file what is your servlet name team can anyone explain what is your servlet name team here okay sn means a servlet name servlet class what is your servlet name team here team what is the servlet name team here can anyone explain what is the name of the okay, servlet team here servlet name team please okay, servlet name what is the name of the servlet team okay, dispatcher yeah okay, dispatcher team so this is a okay, dispatcher that means always looks for which file name dispatcher if one roulette to dot xml file dispatcher if one roulette to dot okay, xml file that's why next one is what is there okay, inside of a okay, dispatcher okay, i will explain Third one, write dispatcher roulette dot. What is there here? You know, a configuration about handler mapping, comma controller, comma view resolver. Please go to unmute, please. Okay, dispatcher servlet is always looks for servlet name. Servlet name iPhone, servlet dot of XML file. That is dispatcher iPhone, servlet iPhone dot of XML file. That's it. That's it. Write this configuration about this controller, handler mapping, view resolver. Handler mapping view resolver what is there how is there i will explain team okay i will explain all i will explain as of now only configuration about handler mapping classes controller classes and view view resolver classes okay that's it that means in never this dispatcher servlet always looks for always okay looks for 
we will show you the source code also team how the dispatcher iphone XML. I would say here servlet iPhone okay, XML or whatever it now. Once it will read this okay, dispatcher. What this okay, dispatcher servlet will do? Dispatcher. What this okay, dispatcher? Okay, servlet will do. Very, very important team. So, how to create the spring containers? Basics, that's why I'm telling spring core is the mandatory. Application context, context is equal to new class path xml new class path okay, xml application context new class path okay, xml application context if it is okay standalone application standalone application annotations means new annotation new annotation config application context this try to understand team this is for standalone application now if it is web application how to create it it is standalone applications if it is web application how to do it application context context is equal to new xml application context xml web application context xml web application context new web okay, application okay xml context team Understand team. So now see your dispatcher servlet internally it will create the object. Internally it will create the object of your okay, servlet team. So now here. Now what will do your okay, dispatcher servlet? Dispatcher servlet okay, internally if it is okay, XML right it will create at the your spring container who will create it okay dispatcher servlet will create at the spring container very very important team dispatcher servlet object will be created by servlet container but spring container will be created by whom dispatcher servlet xml web application context here it is a spring container what is there inside of this spring container what is there inside of the your spring container in spring container we have handler mapping in spring container we have controller in spring container we have view resolver handler mapping controller view resolver handler mapping controller view resolver view resolver team handler mapping controller and view okay, resolver team 
Now, please try to understand. Hope okay, everyone is good here. Okay. Everyone is okay. Good team here. Any questions, team? Okay, till now. Okay, everyone. Are we good team till now? Are we good team? Okay, till now. <laughs> Sir, for every yeah. request, it will create a dispatch of circlet object or only one in single done. Yeah, okay. Dispatcher is always a okay, single done for that request. Yeah, single done, but whenever second request come or third request come, so the same yeah. object will be used or yes, yes, be yes. used. Okay. Yes, same object will be created. Okay, dispatcher is the okay of single done, sir. Okay. If you see, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah there is no uh, uh, processing logic is uh, dynamic for okay, every request. As long as the okay, request okay, okay processing will be same for all the requests, it is called a single done only. Okay. No. Ah uh, yes, okay. Yeah, no. Third step is done. Fourth step. Before third step, I would write it is third step. Write controller class. Write controller class. Why I shouldn't configure this okay controller class okay inside of the Okay, dispatcher servlet dot okay dispatcher iphone servlet dot okay xml file okay dispatcher iphone okay servlet dot okay xml file that's why third step write controller class write controller class so two ways you can write this okay controller either you can okay extend this controller are using annotations so okay, you can also write the controller okay implements this controller or you can write the other rate controller and okay you can write it sir it's all okay depends here how to write one simple control public class controller is an okay, interface it is a predefined interface. It's not a user defined interface. What is the method here? Model and view. Handle request. HTTP servlet request. HTTP servlet request. Request. HTTP servlet response. Okay, response. So, our own okay, implementations. Public Hello World Controller implements controller. Implements controller. Here you should write your override that um, method and write some business logic. Write some business logic. Okay, now, okay, next one. Okay, next one please try to understand sir override that method and business logic now what kind of logic you will write here beans i'm closing this beans bean id hello world as is equal to Hello world controller. ID and class is equal to hello world controller. In ID, hello world and class is equal to hello world controller. Class is equal to hello world controller. Hello world controller. Now, next one team. Please try to understand. So hello world controller. So he, here it is my logic. Here what logic will be there? Let's see. I will write. Sir, first example I am taking so much of time. Second example no need of okay, this much of time. So don't worry. I am slow. Don't worry all these things. First example 
I am taking more time team. Okay, okay, second example. So I don't think so. Okay, this much of time okay, will not okay, take, sir. Now, here, here, what you will do? Model and view. MAV. New model and view. MAV. MAV dot set view name. It is called a logical name. Slash home. Return. MAV. View name it is. Done. Now here see. In never so i never see this statement will be executed now here what happened in? see every class in our project cannot be called as a controller class see the since it has called by a dispatcher servlet then only the class is called a controller class t okay now here what happened Please concentrate, team. Please concentrate. Now, what it would be happened? You are writing this one. Okay. During your application startup, it will read starting okay, dispatcher and servlet. It will load which one? This one. It will create the object of the controller. Same like here, you have to configure. Bean ID, view, view resolver, all the beans you are specified here. Class is equal to fully qualified class of view resolver, handler mappings, and all you should be configured here. During your dispatcher servlet, you'll read this okay, XML file. What are the configurations are available in this XML file? It will create the spring container it will create the all the beans all the objects of inside of the container okay, inside of the container understand sir please try to understand sir please try to understand now here what happened now here what happened see now once as long as okay you are clear in this so now now actual story will start thing now actual story will start what is actual story see now dispatcher servlet object is created and like a dispatcher servlet object is okay fine now once the spring container object will be created here okay look inside of your handler mapping inside of your handler mapping team here you have it will maintain one table what is the it will maintain one table what is the request to uri and what is the controller name what is the request to uri and what is the controller name this last hello world controller name is Hello world. Now, see. After creating this, it is a step one. Eight. Step one. Dispatcher servlet object will be created during application startup. On step two, it will always okay looks for okay dispatcher servlet data XML file. On step number three, it will create the servlet container done till now we are good now step number four your dispatcher send a request to whom handler handler mapping team this handler mapping will take the help of this configuration if the request will be coming from slash hello then handler mapper will give the return type is controller name is called hello with the help of this 
controller name so it will return what okay controller name this dispatcher will send a request to whom corresponding controller now we are good till now we are good till now team please here actual story will started that we will see see team what this controller will return this controller will return logical name here if you see it will give view name slash home first example i am taking more time second example you will be an expert on this i am sure let's see first example i am spending more time don't think i am slow no here see it is logical view name slash home whatever it logical view name no send this logical view name to whom internal view resolver internal view resolver what this internal view resolver will do it is something like this view resolver is an okay, interface internal view resolver is the class what this internal view resolver will do internal resource view resolver it has two attributes one is fix slash web inf as jsp okay now next one suffix suffix means okay suffix means dot jsp internal view resolver is equal to ir vr is equal to prefix plus controller model name or logical name plus suffix that means slash web by nf slash jsp jsp slash home dot jsp home dot jsp please try to understand team so if you view if you view your home as the input your input is hello world output is output is this one prefix plus what is prefix slash web by nf slash what is this slash jsp output is hello world dot jsp who will convert this who will convert this logical view name into physical view name your internal view view okay, resolver internal view resolver has always two things are there one is prefix another one is suffix prefix means these values are fixed suffix means these values are fixed so this is called hello world dot jsp this is the our view name our view name will con okay okay render the data how you want to okay, render the data you should know that means here you have to prepare here internal view resolver in property prefix is equal slash by nf slash asp suffix is equal to always dot jsp if you want to uh, jsp to other other view layer you can give that one 
dot html whatever you want you can change your internal view view of resolver if you give logical view name to your internal view resolver internal view resolver convert this logical view name into physical view name send that physical view name to whom your dispatcher servlet send that physical view name to whom your dispatcher servlet Please try to understand, sir. Now give this. Okay, give this. To this one. Done here. Okay, everyone is clear. Here what happened? Here it would give. Here what happened? Here it would give. Okay, your physical name. Here it is logical name. Logical name. okay hope you are good hope you are good team so now now here here what is this one and what is this this one team hope you are good team okay everything is good now so how to do your project structure and all now we'll see practically how to do your project structure and all now we'll see practically team now, now what is okay fifth one right JSPs under slash by NF slash JSP folder slash by NF slash JSPs folder understood sir now so this is what okay, how it happens now sixth one the one slash okay by nf write jsps how many jsps okay you want you can write hello world dot jsp no hello world dot home dot jsp how many you want okay you can write it here okay. what are the steps are required to develop the simple mvc applications second or third examples i will replace this with annotations I will replace this with annotations. You don't see anywhere your XML configuration in your code. I will explain you what are the drawbacks with okay, XML. Why you should go for Java config. Okay, I will explain team. Please try to understand. Now, the next one. Done. Now we are clear. Once it is all done, now. Build the application. And build the application as where module now deploy the application. What is the project structure, sir? Project name Sir C main Java. Here we have star dot Java. Sarsi main slash resource. Here we have star dot XML. Here we have star dot XML. Here we have star dot properties. Next one. Next one. Here is actual story will be started. Under web by NF, under SRC main, along with SRC main Java, after SRC main, you have okay, SRC main web app also. Under web app, under web app, 
we have like uh, the by an F under the by an F we have like uh, ASP under JSP we have like uh, Hello world dot JSP home dot JSP and so on done. Here we have a form dot XML. Now here whatever you want under 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 you know under web app only you should add. You want anything like uh, images images image or you have anything here star dot PNG. PNG images under web app. We have like uh, JavaScript. Okay, now you have like star dot JS and all it would be there. This is the way how it works. This is the way how it works. Understood team or any questions team okay, you can ask project name SRC main Java SRC main resource SRC main web app under SRC image yeah, This is our project structure team. Now under web by NF you have a another one is called app dot XML Now, oh, we have a XML. Understood team. So, this is what our project structure team. So, this is what our okay, MVC, how the okay, internal flow will work. Request one dispatcher and servlet object will be there. It will always okay, look for servlet name iPhone servlet dot XML file and uh, it will give the request to whom. So it will create the servlet container okay, instead of the container. What are the beans are there in this okay, XML? All the beans will be created once this object will be created. Dispatcher servlet will send the request to handler mapping. Handler mapping will give the based on the URI. It will give the controller name. Dispatcher servlet will call this controller. Controller always will give logical view name. Why tomorrow if you want to migrate from your uh, you know here one business one uh, presentation to another presentation controller location should not change only changes will be applied in where your view resolver if you give that logical name to whom view resolver view resolver will take care to convert convert your convert your logical view name into physical view name this physical view name again okay dispatcher servlet will okay, okay, display the data in the view view layer team view layer team now this is what theory team now after break yeah okay okay libraries and all okay, i will tell uh, here create maven web project and add required dependencies in form.xml that means add okay we like doing okay project okay i will explain add okay required okay dependencies in form.xml while showing okay practical okay i will explain all i will explain team okay are we clear team sir can i ask a question yeah please yes sir uh means uh, i understood i i understood 
the flow of the spring yeah. mvc but yeah. i am getting a confusion on the handler mapping like a dispatcher servlet we create a xml file like a dispatcher dot servlet uh, dot xml yeah but the okay. handler mapping uh, where it will define means uh, i didn't get yes exactly were correct in view resolver we will not write handler mapping do you know how to write here internal view how to write here this one these two are okay right, right. how this yeah how this handler mapping will be in load means with the help of there is a some it's small a configuration this one this entry will take care to load the handler mapping annotation driven this line is used to it will it will create handler mapping object got it this handler handler mapping component a component Key, yeah. uh, means uh, store the key as a hello world from this yeah. bean and the hello yeah. world controller as a value yeah okay means uh, this uh, means this line of code beans uh, to end of the beans is known as a handler mapping these are yeah this mvc colon annotation driven will take care to create the handler mapping object okay okay sir okay since you want handler mapping is an okay, interface so many implementations are there simple uri handler mapping is the one of the implementation class that will take care to map this your uri to your controller you want to know how this handler mapping will work internally see if you understand akil we are not using annotations we are using in in okay, xml only enabled in okay, xml only we are using this one enabled spring mvc related why means i will explain handler mapping is nothing but at the rate request mapping annotation handler mapping is nothing but at the rate request mapping annotation how to enable at the rate request mapping using annotation driven i will explain in in after break sir yes sir my question is if multiple handle mapping right yeah. if multiple yeah. handle mapping beans are configuration in xml file then which handle mapping bean is called for the dispatcher server sir i will okay. explain thank you sir. after the break okay, okay? so okay i will explain okay, okay. everything is clearly how the handler okay. mapping internally will work how to use this handler mapping everything i will give sir okay, don't worry okay. so let us see team first example team team for your purpose if you want how to create the project i will show you but within two days it is very difficult to type all this manually team still we have uh, spring rest and all is there that is the reason i have some okay predefined okay, examples team how to create project means new maven project maven project you have to choose it's not a simple project it's a web app it's a web app it's a okay, web app team you have to know Okay, you have to know com dot group id com dot cnotech artifact id artifact id hello world spring mvc double zero spring mvc hello world spring mvc hello world Spring MVC Hello World team. Click on next, click on finish team. 
it is a packaging is here where it is it's not a jar it's a where file see simple application packaging is where file d packaging is where file d please try to understand the okay, packaging is where file d now now here what happened packaging is where file Okay, now okay, the, okay, let us see. Now here I need to add okay, dependencies means jars. Okay, libraries. What jars are required here? Dependencies. All the jars. I need to add go to the Google Spring Core Maven dependency. Any any version you can use team. Spring MVC Maven dependency. See what are the jars are required team. Spring MVC Maven dependency. Go to here. Use either of the versions team. Copy this. So what are the required jars are required? Add all the required jars. So now just for showing one simple example team that's it now here see so here what we did in our example go for palm.xml spring core we have added spring context we have added spring web we have added spring web mvc these four jars are required to develop spring mvc applications these four jars are required to develop Spring MVC applications. Spring MVC applications. Okay, let's see team. Now, this will internally bring so many other jars team. Okay, if you want to prove dependency hierarchy, Spring Core is pulling Spring Login. Team, please go to mute. Please go to mute. Please mute team. Please mute team. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, now okay. see spring core is depending on commons logging. Spring context is depending on spring aop spring beans spring core again spring of expression team spring web it is pulling all spring mvc it is pulling all understood team so these are the okay dependencies are required team these are the okay, dependencies are required to develop okay mvc okay, application team develop MVC application team. Okay, now let's see. Next one team. Go to write web.xml. See what I am writing here. Servlet, servlet name, servlet class, org dot 
spring framework dot web dot servlet dot okay, dispatcher and servlet so servlet name okay, dispatcher url pattern slash means so it will use anything slash star okay, htm means it will load whole html do not use slash star jsps will load as a plain text so either you can give star.html you can give star.mvc you can give star. Uh, uh, star. Uh, okay do star. Uh, you know action but here i am giving only slash it will allow for any type of url pattern thing it will allow for any type of url pattern thing okay team now okay, that's good okay, next one team what is the okay, next one please see see i never request will come any url pattern dispatcher servlet object will be created any url pattern team dispatcher servlet object will be created it always looks for whom dispatcher servlet name iphone servlet dot okay, xml file this one thing all are predefined namespaces component scan base package your controller class so how it identify the your controller class with the help of component class now enabled spring mvc related annotations like like operate controller operate request mapping it is enabled mvc driven now it is internal resource view resolver prefix and suffix team so it is to assign the where your images where your JSPs, default is servlet handler for static resources. Without hitting your controller, directly you want executed this view name whenever in your home page, during your home page or landing page, during your home page or landing page, if you want to execute your uh, classes, you should go for view controller path is equal to slash view name is equal to hello world static this is thing you should note in what this handler mapping will do i will explain to you handler mapping is an okay, interface okay there are so many okay, implementations are there one of the implementation is called simple uri handler mapping Okay, now here see. Understood team this one? Any questions on this configuration team? So here actually view name will be given by whom? Controller. View name or logical name given by whom? Controller. View name and logical name will be given by whom? Controller. Here without going to controller, if you want to load any static pages, without controller if you want to load any static pages this line is used this line is used to execute the to okay, execute the you name you name without without calling controller without calling controller that means generally we will be used to display static data static data while landing page generally we will be used to generally 
we will be used to display the generally we will be used to display static data while landing page display static data while landing page D. okay display static data while landing page so this view name this view name will be given to view resolver and view resolver and view resolver will convert into physical physical name that physical name is called hello world static dot gsp physical name is called hello world static dot gsp physical name is called hello world static dot jsp hello world static dot jsp hello world static dot jsp so instead of we will hit to your controller directly during your application landing so i am informing please take this view controller which will be written the hello world static which will be okay internally will your view 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 resolver will take care to convert this hello world static is the logical name which will be converting into physical file name hello world static dot jsp hello world static dot jsp if we have multiple sorry sorry sir if we have multiple uh, hello world static pages like uh, about us contact us so in this uh, means uh, uh, web dot text not a web dot sir those are called only you can write yeah whatever order order you will write right here that okay in this, case, okay. in, the, in this case line number yeah. 30 34 we will uh, write again for uh, about us and yeah. contact us pages yeah generally those will be okay. html pages sir not jsps yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes sir. so it depends yeah still if you want load okay, you can load okay it's not a problem understood sir okay so you are informing okay. Yeah, see here you have internal view resolver. Here you have a component scan. Hope you know Spring Core how to work this component scan in Spring Core team. So, you okay? Okay, you will be able to know how component scan that component scan will take care, sir, to identify this controller. Here is your controller here, sir. Here, hello world controller hello world request mapping sir that's why we are providing here mvc is the one of the prefix of here this schema sir mvc colon annotations hyphen driven means please enable all spring mvc related annotations this at the rate request mapping is none, nothing but handler mapping at the rate request mapping was nothing but handler mapping sir handler mapping sir okay, done see now f.xml is done dispatcher server is done now controller whenever request will come slash all over the dynamic it will first request mapping the okay, request uh, mapping means handler mapping Handler mapping and request mapping both are same, sir. You may ask in my controller, hey, I have two are there. Yes, no problem. I need, see, this handler mapping will give controller object only. Slash hello, slash, slash hello, slash ABC. No problem. This is also will be if more URIs are there, no problem. See, 
request mapping is used to, to based on the URI mapping, it will give them controller object. All world controller. It will give the controller object. Here also, okay, it will give the controller object. Here also, it will give the controller object. Understood, sir. Hi, sir. Yeah, please. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, actually, having a small doubt here. So, like, yeah, when please. when the request is coming from the browser, so first it will uh, hit the web dot XML, and from there it will check for the controller class, the dispatcher servlet is there, yeah. right, sir? So it will check for the dispatcher servlet, and based yes. on the uh, like JSP, we are uh, having using some uh, uh, path, right? URL, no, no, slash of some mm. uh, form name, right? Mm. So based on that one, it will check for the XML and uh, from there it will check the controller name and it will hit the controller class. Is it the right understanding, sir? So, okay. Let me explain again. So, okay, let me, okay, I will okay, deploy the application. Let me explain. Sure. Hmm? Yes, yeah, sure. Deploy. So, since I'm using plain MVC, it is a web application run as MVN installed. Either you can do it from here or you can go to your command prompt two ways we can build a maven application you can do it from here also mvn installed always you should go your palm.xml location you should go your palm.xml location from here you should run the application from here, we should run the application. Done, sir. Go to here. Refresh. Target. I'm copying. Here is my Tomcat. Softwares. Web apps. Okay. No, I am starting this server, sir. How to start? New tab. Start bat. Now Tomcat would be started, sir. No Tomcat would be started, sir. <coughs> now, sir, see, I would explain. Go to your Tomcat. 2021 manage app tomcat tomcat go to here team go to here click on this see now here what happened whenever you called this okay, execution steps mvc application Execution steps team. What are the execution steps? Okay, step number one. Step number one team. 
during your application startup during application startup or okay when we hit the url in the browser when we hit the url in the browser using this one during this one team now here what happened it will looks for dispatcher servlet and uh, servlet will create the dispatcher and servlet object dispatcher servlet object object will will read dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml file dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml file okay the dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml file and and so now based on the configuration provided in dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml it will create spring container it will hold okay spring container which contains handler mapping controller view resolver handler mapping controller view resolver objects handler mapping controller and view resolver objects handler mapping controller and view resolver objects since it is a static page it came now when i hit now okay when i hit slash hello world dynamic so now when we trying to access the access the uri access the controller using uri a request will go to dispatcher and servlet dispatcher and servlet dispatcher servlet request will go to a dispatcher servlet dispatcher servlet will out the request to to handler mapping that is called at the rate request to mapping now see so handler mapping will give the controller name to dispatcher servlet will give the controller name to a dispatcher servlet will give the controller name to a dispatcher servlet dispatcher servlet will call to controller e controller will will process the logic 
controller will process the logic and give to controller will process the logics and gives to and gives to CTM and gives to logical name logical name or model name F controller will send a logical name to your resolver oh, sorry dispatcher servlet G dispatcher servlet will send the logical name to home view resolver H view resolver will convert logical name into physical name display the data in view display the physical file data in view got it team or any questions got it sir. are we clear team okay everyone are we clear everyone now yes if i am trying to access slash allow world dynamic flow will go to where here please try to understand flow will go to where here here is what happened here request will come to here i am added only name srino technologies return hello world dynamic here i am returning my controller will return to what logical name to whom dispatcher what this okay dispatcher servlet will do it will give this logical name to whom view resolver what this view resolver will do view resolver will execute a by nf prefix a by plus suffix plus logical name a by nf a by nf not here a by nf jsp c it is a prefix logical name means this one suffix means dot jsp allow world dynamic dot jsp see same html what is there here allow world dollar name Hello world dollar name dollar name means whatever you are setting to this model you are getting as it is dollar name means this model name automatically will be displayed into here image means dot dot image because it is available here dot dot means it will be come out from the here okay single dot means here double dot means here you have st logo that's it you may ask why can't we give this controller as a what is the use of view of resolver this is not recommended why tomorrow i want to switch from jsp to any other other vi other other ui technologies instead of now i should okay i should change my logic inside of the controller instead of disturbing my controller I will go to my view resolver instead of JSP. I will write some, some other technologies file to make as a loose link coupled. Always controller will give logical view. Name. Always controller will give logical view name. This logical view name will give to whom your internal view resolver. Internal view resolver will convert this logical view name into physical view name that um, physical view name is this one
Are we clear, everyone? Yes. So here, whatever model data is there, as it is, we are okay, displaying here. Whatever model name is there, as it is here, we are okay, displaying here. Okay, now we'll see. Now we'll start. Now you got hello world. Name is Srino Technologies. Now image. Hey, where is the image? Here is the image. I am displaying this image. Displaying this image. That's it. Today. This is the first example of Spring MVC application. Everyone will tell any doubts on this example or not. Please tell. Any doubts on this example or not, please tell. Sir, could you please explain that add attribute method? Add? Yeah. Attribute. Okay, this one. Add attribute, right? See, if you want to display the data in your JSP, you can add whatever you want add attribute name add attribute of name and designation name and role name is equal to string you know? maybe my role would be i am the trainer of strino technologies now here what happened go for here name hello world your name what is the role you want to okay, display that data whatever you are okay, okay if you want to send data your view layer you have to set to model only you have to give here role role name okay it is name it is role name understood sir so now we can give name what is that name you know technologies now here role is the trainer okay whatever it so now what i would go i would go to again i should rebuild it rebuild it I should okay, deploy it again. I am stopping this my Tomcat. I will redeploy again. Abaps. Now go to here. Build success. refresh target mvc go to here the apps now again i am started my tomcat started my tomcat okay now it is start of dundee see hello world Srino technologies role name is trainer whatever you want to okay, display the data you should add into where your model it may be a simple string it may be object so you are model data will have a business data this one you can okay, display in okay, inside of your jsp as it is team got it team team are we clear yes, yes sir yeah uh, this sir, is attribute comes yeah please sir yeah please uh, ask sir 
regarding hello yes, controller sir. class so there we have uh, i mean when you are explaining we need to extend i mean implement the controller interface yeah right okay instead of that we are using other controller sir okay that's a replacement yeah. for yeah the, this style of code is old spring 2.x sir just for understanding i have explained this one but okay now this also is not there okay i will explain sir in market how it is using i will explain sir okay, okay. Yeah. is it clear okay everyone team yes sir in this First example in this case, okay everyone yeah. oh, sorry sir mm. yeah please ask yeah in this case uh, means controller means handler map uh, handler mapping will uh, give the hello world dynamic means uh, view uh, to view resolver and the model also come again sir once please when we uh, when we request to hello world dynamic it will mm -hmm. it will map with the handler mapper and uh, pass to controller with the help uh, uh, with the model attribute and the hello world dynamic it will give only sir you are not understanding see handler mapper will give only controller name only controller will return here i think here you may confuse both are same name here you can give hello your controller will give logical view name this logical view name converting into physical view name how it is the help of view resolver means in here you have to write okay instead of hello world dynamic here you have to write hello dot jsp sir the please view ask resolver, yeah, yeah view resolver will also means uh, send the model attribute also means hello world dynamic is a means this method is returning the view resolver now view resolver job is it will take as a logical name converting into physical name yes what is yes. logical name logical name is this Hello. one yeah. it will give just to file name it will give just to file name that's it this physical file name inside of this physical file name what logic is there it is a view layer not view view resolver view resolver job is only to give the physical file name that's it inside of this physical file name how to read the data from the model object this physical file name will take care view layer will take care view class view resolver job is just to take the logical file. name of abc and converting into physical name of abc.jsp that's it okay sir got it sir okay. sir everyone if you are clear first example yes sir we will jump into second example team. we will jump into yes, sir sir, sir sir how are we how are we running this application i mean uh, could you please repeat the steps i mean starting the tomcat and yeah see sure I will write. So now prepare this wire file, sir. Okay, MVN clean clean installed. You got the wire file. Copy this wire file. Paste into Tomcat Web Apps folder. Tomcat Web Apps folder, sir. How to start the Tomcat? Go to Tomcat bin folder bin folder startup dot batch file started target you can directly like double click on it okay it will start sir but i am okay instead of okay, every time double click and closing i am going here whenever i want i can start whenever i want i can stop So it is started on which port number 
you got the output sir is it clear sir everyone yes sir yeah. okay now okay, okay second example sir very very example in your real time in your real time okay example two sir hope okay everyone knows this flow okay, everyone knows this flow if you understand this flow i can go any kind of like examples now if you are not understanding this flow hope okay everyone knows this flow okay now okay next one team please try to understand yes, the next one so spring mvc xml with java config sir okay xml with spring mvc application f dot xml with java config what is mean by this so in your real time in your real time no one will use this no one will use this okay xml sir why drawbacks of okay, xml drawbacks of this okay, xml sir number one now here see okay drawbacks of this okay, xml is first to drawback developer should learn xml language it is very okay, difficult again you should learn not only for okay, xml sir you should learn okay, xml you should learn xsb you should learn dtd all this stuff okay, developer should learn sir so, number two what is number two okay xml is not type safety okay xml is not type safety that means what is mean by not okay type safety sir why industry has moved from okay, xml to java config xml is not type safety sir why instead of value i will give okay instead of string i will give this one here is schema is there here okay instead of this value i will give my own value oh, one second sir yeah instead of this component scan not this oh, whenever you are preparing the objects okay instead of you can pass your own values sorry here here also you can own here here also you can own your xml will not stop anything whatever value okay, you can write okay you can write sir your xml will not stop you sir see because okay, xml will not be as a compiled time it will not read okay next one see every time if you want to switch here you have package where is the package go for your switching from java to xml it is okay difficult to turn you need to switch java to xml is is difficult uh, you know fourth one sir conditional logics conditional logics we can't we can't write in xml Conditional logic, we can't write okay, inside of the okay, XML, sir. Conditional logics, we can't write okay, inside of the okay, XML, sir. That means, if it is okay, XML config, you can't write the logics like if, if object is not null, then only this object is created. These kind of logics you can't write okay, inside of the XML configurations sir and also okay, xml if you have 100 200 lines of okay, xml are there what is the guarantee duplicate lines you will write here and there 
you will write here same duplicate object you may write here means no maintainability sir these many drawbacks is there with the XML sir developers should learn again new technologies it is not a okay, type safety it is not a okay, type safety switch from okay, okay XML to Java it is very okay, difficult conditional logic we can't write in okay, XMLs no maintainability and readability using okay, XML sir no maintainability and readability using okay, XMLs to overcome all this problems to overcome all these problems we should use java configuration we should use java configurations sir i am not explaining all this will be available in spring core sir all will be available in spring core that's why you should be strong on spring core if you are strong on spring core it will be easy sir if you are strong on spring core it is easy so now um, my goal is replace this whole XML with Java config. Now my goal is replace this whole okay, XML with Java config, sir. Replace okay, XML with Java config. Replace XML with Java config. How to replace okay, XML with Java config? Now we'll see, sir. I will show you practically for say for side I don't want all this stuff team how to replace this XML with Java config I don't want these comments and all okay, if you want we can add it's not a problem Hope whether you know or not. So no. That's what I said. You should be strong on Spring Core team. If you are strong on Spring Core, you can understand easily everything. If you are strong on Spring Core, you can play the games like anything team. I am removing these comments to more for space utilization. Okay, team. Now let's see how to start. How to start to let's see, team. How to replace to replace with okay, work XML with Java config. First, you should write configuration is the annotation public class Java config. You can write MVC config, okay, whatever it. Now, how to enable an all Spring MVC annotations? How to enable all Spring MVC annotations? See, I should use at the rate enabled MVC, which is equivalent to at the rate enabled web mvc which is equivalent to it is equivalent to mvc colon annotation hyphen driven mvc colon annotation hyphen driven now how to replace with component scan at the rate component scan Base package is equal to base package is equal to com dot st dot spring dot mvc dot controller com dot st dot spring dot mvc dot controller okay team now let's see team let's see team now next one 
at the rate b public internal resource view resolver get resolver this is what replace your xml with java config internal view resolver internal resource view resolver is equal to new so due to space issue ir vr due to space issue ir vr i am writing such now ir vr dot set prefix Slash web by nf slash jsp ir vr dot set suffix slash dot jsp dot jsp return return Okay, return resolver. IRVR. That's it, sir. That's it. So, if you want okay, index kind of scenario, sir, <clears throat> okay, how to write okay, index kind of okay, scenario? Guy told, right, while loading your application only, add view controller. developer no need to learn with the xml sir developer if you know the java you can understand easily if you go for this stuff registry how to do registry dot add view controller add view controller registry dot Set view name. Set view name. Hello world static. Hello world static. Hello world static team. Lower all static. Okay. Now we'll see how to replace your XML. Still, you have a okay, dot XML. Later, we'll replace the okay, next example. We'll replace with okay, cap dot XML also team. Okay, next example, we'll replace with a okay, cap dot XML also. Now we'll see this beans is nothing but this one. This Annotation, this will be nothing but this. Now, this package is nothing but component scan. Understanding, now, this whole bean is nothing but this one thing. This is equivalent to this one thing. Understood team? So, we are replacing our XML with Java config. Replacing our XML with Java config. So, no more like XML files in our code. Next example, we will see how to replace okay, .xml also. First, we will focus on 
how to replace your dispatcher okay, XML with Java config. Okay, any doubts team here? Any doubts? Okay, any doubts team here, please? Okay, any doubts team? Any doubts no, team? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, good. Now we'll see, sir. So go for our okay second example. I'm closing of everything, sir. So now we have only a okay, dot XML now. We have only a okay, dot XML now. We don't have any dispatcher servlet type on okay, XML. We don't have any okay, dispatcher servlet dot okay, XML. We have only okay, okay XML files now. We have only XML files now. So there is Java config, MVC config. But see, extends MVC config adapter at the rate enable MVC component scan internal view resolver. If any static pages and all, how to do? Configure default servlet handler enabled. But here interested question is earlier, earlier in previous example, look example two. Dispatcher servlet by default will be looks for dispatcher even servlet dot of xml file now 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 we don't have xml file then how dispatcher servlet how dispatcher servlet will identify will will load will load the java config will load the MVC config class. Answer is we have to provide explicitly we have to provide explicitly we have to inform we have to configure annually we have to configure we have to configure manually we have to configure manually in web.xml so that we have to configure manually in web.xml so that so that we have to configure manually in web.xml so that so that okay dispatcher and servlet will take care so that the dispatcher servlet will load that class mvc config class dispatcher servlet will load the mvc config class will load the mvc config class now sir see how to use go to your web.xml you have a context param and init params in servlet okay init param and in context param is there okay init param is used for only that servlet context param is used for all the servlets star all the servlets see during this application startup your dispatcher servlets we will create at the will create at the spring container earlier earlier by default it by will looks for your dispatcher iphone servlet dots earlier previous example by default the dispatcher servlet will you know will create at the spring container now you are informing it is mvc if it is a okay, mvc means 
annotation config app application context with the help of this application context class the spring container will be created inside of the spring container what are the beans are there controller beans request mapping beans or handler mapping or view view resolver all the beans will be created inside of the spring container team that's it got it team any questions team Shall i deploy this application is it working or not shall we see team yes sir yeah nothing team we are replacing our whole yeah. text with java config okay that's it let's see team go to here properties i'm copying this whole up here vn clean install i stop from my tomcat let me start again go to my web okay, dot okay babs i will remove old one okay second application is it build is done still it is not yet done done my build is a success team refresh target copy go to a gabs folder paste it the gabs folder no start your tomcat Okay, this is like deploying your application team. It is deploying your application. Okay, done team. Now we will see how to access the my application team. Slash allow world slash I should pass the data. You will give that name is here. World dynamic. It will give to where view resolver. View view resolver of what it will do. This value will be executed and and it will be printed to you. Second example. Now this is a static hello world. I want like a dynamic team. How to do hello world slash See hello world slash three node. Whatever name you are giving, this is a dynamic here it is like a display. Okay, done. See here whatever name it is giving, here it is like a displaying thing. Here it is like a displaying thing. Got it, team or any questions, team? So now we are successfully completed. How to migrate our okay, XML now with the Java config team? 
are we clear team please okay respond in chat team don't tell okay respond in chat got it team or any questions team you can type it team hope you are clear okay everything yeah good okay next one team next one now third example is very very okay, important example team spring mvc with no xml files generally we have two xml files are there one is dispatcher iphone servlet dot kk xml another one is another one is web dot xml just now we did okay replacement of dispatcher iphone servlet replacement with java config is done now how to replace with replace with java config very very important how to replace with java config so please we try to understand so no more okay no more of xml files team here no more of okay, xml files so question is without without f dot xml without f dot xml how how the tomcat how the your web container can identify identify the servlets without f dot xml how the web container can identify the dispatcher servlet class ready now answer is we have a class is called servlet container initializer initializer so when tomcat start please try to understand when tomcat start it even looks for and tomcat start it will looks for f dot xml if f dot xml is not found then then looks for if f dot xml is not found then looks for servlet container initializer looks for servlet container initializer okay this will internally calls spring servlet container spring container of initializer then okay, next one so this will internally will call the publication of initializer Understood, sir. Now, now next one. Abstract context loader listener. Now, this will all are top classes. These are all down classes, sir. Okay, child classes. Then. Abstract 
डिस्पैचर सर्वलेट चलाइए नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट वन अब्सट्रैक्ट अनोटेशन कॉन्फिग अब्सट्रैक्ट अनोटेशन कॉन्फिग अनोटेशन कॉन्फिग डिस्पैचर सर्वलेट ओके चलाइए प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड थी नाउ In this class, do you have dispatcher servlet team? Please okay, respond in Teams chat. In this class, do you have this more okay, dispatcher servlet team? No, no, here, here. In this class, dispatcher is available here. In this class, do you have a okay, dispatcher? No. Please, no, no. In this class, you have a okay, dispatcher? No. In this class, you have a dispatcher. No. In this class, you have dispatcher. No. In this class, you have yes. See, if you write, if you extend public class, okay, web config extends this one or this one, you no need to write any code. So here, it will your tomcat because of this class of okay, extends 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 please try to understand team if you write the code this so less manual effort team less manual effort why everything will be taken care by whom these classes because of extending these classes of these initializers these classes will take care to loaded by tomcat and read the you know and create the dispatcher servlet object but if you are writing this one more control more manual you have to declare a okay, dispatcher servlet in this classes manually and you have to maintain that okay, dispatcher servlet understood sir so that's why I always okay, recommended go for this one so whenever you are okay, extending this one you are I never you are like extending this one abstract annotation can't be okay dispatcher means this class will take care to create of the uh, to taken care by startup of the application using tomcat and also it will create at the okay, dispatcher servlet object dispatcher servlet object sir now see how to use here here what kind of code how dispatcher servlet object to knows the location of the configuration here you have to write okay, explicitly sir how to write okay, explicitly here now we will see practically how to write public class class get root config get root config get root config classes return null Return null. Next one. Public. Get root config classes. Uh, 
servlet config classes return new class new class mapping mvc config dot class mvc config dot class ultimately your dispatcher and servlet object is required even configurations no last one public string array get servlet mappings get servlet mapping here what we will do return return new string new string slash that should be please check once same as your your kev dot xml are not in this code see here it is your init param here it is a init param team understood team so same as your kev dot xml during your application startup please okay review it once please okay review it once this code okay done team see now here it is the dispatcher is always required configurations where the request handler and where the controller and where the view and okay resolvers are there those are available here that's it if you apply this nowhere like xml in our project team let's see this is mvc hope we know this one add v controller add resource handler internal view resolver this is okay team component scan enable mvc all are good the next one application initializer C team here. I will explain later this one team. Next examples. Get servlet config classes. MVC config class. Get servlet mappings slash. You, this you know slash one. Okay, it will work team. Understand team. So this is way how see whenever you got the, this, it will extends. Okay, it will extends. Here, abstract or okay, dispatch. Abstract. This class will take care to create the okay, dispatcher servlet object. Okay, now if you are okay, extending this one directly, now here what happened? There is no okay, dispatcher here. Developer has the okay, responsibility, implements these interfaces. Developer, you have to write a code in like this. You can understand sir now here what would be happen now here what would be happen here now please try to understand so if you write the code either this one or this one or this one developer has the responsibility during your startup of your i need to write the code manually of dispatcher and servlet of servlet is equal to new okay dispatcher and servlet and all we should write the code of manually Whereas if you okay, extend this one, now here what happened? You don't need to worry. Your classes will take care to create the dispatcher servlet stuff, sir. Go to here. Done. Shall we deploy team? This one team? Okay, very well. Okay, shall we deploy team? Okay, this application team, please. We respond in chat team. If all are okay, we can okay, deploy team. Okay. 
ఓకే టీమ్ ఒక రెస్పాండ్ ఇన్ చాట్ యా సి నౌ హౌ టు ఒక డిప్లాయ్ వితౌట్ ఒక ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ ఫైల్స్ హౌ టు రన్ స్ప్రింగ్ ఎంబీసీ అప్లికేషన్ MVN clean install MVN let's see now once it is done i will deploy this application team i am removing this one second example go to my here refresh go to here okay team let us see still it is started team see it is creating your spring container see for a handler mapper one of the implementation class is called simple handler mapping now done team now go to here what is the output team that's it is it clear team or any doubts team is it clear team or any other doubts please team agar respond team so that i would plan accordingly yeah good sir see this is the way how to replace your xml with java config team how to replace your xml with java config team okay now clear okay next one thing okay next one okay next one in your real time what happened you know okay okay example 14 in your real time how the application logics in your real time see we have controller we have service we have do in our real time we have the generally of application flow would be team controller service do team so now please see now here what happened you know please try to understand it in your real time what happened do it is your flow very very okay, important team okay, next example spring mbc means
see now why i am writing this much of b okay you will be able to know now let's see general application flow team general flow application flow but you know here spring mvc means only here only team spring mvc means only here only spring mvc means is not like service not like dao please try to understand spring mvc means only in this one i i would say remaining sir not mvc remaining sir not mvc remaining are is plain spring core in your real time what happened you know in your project if you have multiple containers you know if you have this kind of flow is there in your real time this will be moved into one container here not only for dao dao required transactions dao required data source dao required and so on other than the spring mvc will move to one controller i mean one container so i would say this is also called as a parent container only spring mvc stuff it is available in one container only mvc only mvc related classes like classes like test mapping classes like controller classes like internal view resolver only mvc related classes okay it will be moved into another container it will be moved into another container that container is called shield container that container is called shield container why why sir please see you may ask why it is required see sir okay, very very okay, important in your real time you may ask why it is okay happening so now why can't we move this is one con see one container this is another container see tomorrow if you want to switch from spring mvc to if you want to switch from spring mvc to other other mvc framework if you want to switch from spring mvc to struts jsf or any other see so your your application changes would be only on controller class only this class will not be a disturb team that is the reason spring framework guys has given a provision is hey hey developers if you want uh, spring mvc classes and non spring mvc classes is there non spring mvc classes will be created in one container 
and spring mvc classes will be created in another container that means now this is wrong sir now here what is wrong here spring mvc classes non spring mvc classes spring mvc classes please try to understand spring mvc container what are there here 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 we will have here here we will have request mapping controller and request mapping controller and view resolver here we will have service dao data source transactions all will have here here you have a um, here we have a handler mapping handler ma mapping because all are of mvc right handler mapping now here here we have view resolver here we have handler mapping and view resolver here we have controller you know but here if you go to here spring non mvc container how to do so here we would have service dao data source transaction service data source transaction dao dao okay team the okay, next one service data source dao the next one team now here what happened now here what happened please try to understand so my controller want to call to whom service so it is very difficult team so if you create two independent container they can't share the objects team they can't share the okay objects see if you create an okay, independent container if we create independent containers independent containers then they can't share the objects can't share the objects that's why that's why we should go we should go hierarch hierarchical we should go for hierarchical hierarchical containers that's why we should go for hierarchical containers we should go for hierarchical containers very very important team means this approach is wrong if you go for this approach is wrong approach is wrong if you are too too independent you can't communicate you can't share the object from one container to another container that's why we should go for okay hierarchical containers how the hierarchical okay containers will be 
their team now we will see how the hierarchical containers will be their team let's see now here see here you would have here 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 we have here we have service 1 service 2 service 3 here we have controller 1 controller 2 controller 3 here we have handler mapping here we have view resolver here we have DAO here we have transactions here we have data source I would say is a one controller it is a another controller it is a another controller it is a one service Service two, service three. Controller one, controller two, controller three. Now the controller will talk to. It is called parent container. is called a parent container this is called child container this is called child container so child container always is able to call to parent container Child container always can talk to parent container. Child container always can talk to parent container. Okay, now, so here is a important thing. Here is a okay, important. Who will load this parent container? So, in your real time, how this parent container and child container would be there? I will explain to him. I will show you. Point number one. Context loader listener. Listener. Will create the parent container and also needs a configuration and also needs a configuration no parent container beans Parent container beans, beans cannot access any beans. Parent container beans cannot access any beans from 
చైల్డ్ కంటైనర్ పేరెంట్ కంటైనర్ బీన్స్ కెనాట్ యాక్సెస్ ఎనీ బీన్స్ ఎనీ బీన్స్ ఇన్ చైల్డ్ కంటైనర్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ చైల్డ్ టు యూ కెన్ యాక్సెస్ పేరెంట్ బట్ ఫ్రమ్ పేరెంట్ కంటైనర్ బీన్స్ కెనాట్ యాక్సెస్ cannot access to child container you cannot access to child container now any beans any beans from child container can access to parent in container bean can access to parent container beans can access to parent container beans team so very clear team so you can access from child to parent you can access from child to parent it's true but you can't access from parent to child to understood team means from controller to service you can access but from service to controller you can't access team you can't okay access team understood team any questions please ask me i am ready to okay okay help you team here spring mvc example son example on parent and child container of here see see spring mvc related beans like 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 handler mapping comma request mapping sorry comma controller comma view resolver will be controller comma view of okay, resolver view resolver will be will be created in parent container so now so now sorry will be now here it is a will be created in child container okay. child container will be created created by dispatcher servlet with the help of the help of with the help of xml file or java config is java config done team the next one next bit then the next one team now parent container very important team 
non mvc stuff non mvc non spring mvc classes like non spring mvc classes like service bao security transactions data source okay non mvc classes will be created in will be created in non mvc classes will be created in will be created in will be created in parent container will be created in parent container context loader listener is responsible for creating the parent container with the help of application context.xml sir no one will explain all this at internals sir but still we are explaining we don't feel this is free free workshops and all please try to understand how you are of utilizing it's all up to you okay now what okay, next one team next one next one team what is the next one so hope you know what dispatcher servlet is like responsible for to creating the child container not team if there are any any non mvc classes present in your project in your in the in the class path in the class path in the class path dispatch certain servlets servlet looks for looks for parent container dispatcher servlet looks for parent container parent container if it is created it is created then only then, then only child container will be created then only child container will be created then only child container will be created understood sir now we'll see how to do it now if there are no non mvc classes okay dispatcher and servlet will not looks for the parent in container if there are any non mvc classes are present in the class path non spring mvc classes are present in the class path then dispatcher servlet will looks for the parent container if it is created then only child container will be created understood team no okay, next one team now we'll see practically these okay examples team see team root context first we'll go for a 
XML. Next, we will go for Java config. Here, in my project, I have controller, I have service. Now, from controller, I am calling to service. Once I got the response from the service, I am set that okay, response to who? Model object. Okay, display this response in where? My view layer, JSP page. View layer, JSP page team. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now, see, non-MVC classes. Annotation config. Component scan. Base package. Base package. Please try to understand. It, this has the responsible for to create the to create the so here parent container. What is there inside of this parent container? Only service and DAOs are there. Here you have a DAO. Here we have a transactions. Here we have a data source. So non MVC classes are available inside of the where parent container. So go to your code. Here we have a parent container. MVC one where is there? MVC stuff is available where? Here. Can anyone explain who will load the? We know. Tailed container, how to load? You know. Who will load? Dispatcher servlet will load with the help of. Okay. Okay. With the help of. Dispatcher I fun circulate dot XML R R Java config means MVC config dot Java Java config means MVC config dot Java Java config means okay, MVC config dot Java. Java config means okay, MVC config dot Java. MVC config dot Java. MVC config dot Java. Understood. No. See no. So this is done. It is done. Okay, now, so now, this is, will be, hope you know, but this will be included by whom? Context loader listener. Where is that? Here. So, listeners, context loader listener, I have given clearly. Context loader and listener is okay, responsible for to create the parent container with the help of application context.xml. Before creating a okay, dispatcher servlet object, it will verify if this listener is present in the, uh, okay, it will, the parent container is already created or not. If it is created, then only child container object will be created else child container object will not be created 
yeah 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 okay he'll go break uh, at uh, 115 sir okay okay yeah. okay he'll go break by 1 115 okay i will share the notes also okay don't worry okay no see team no see here please try to understand sir please try to understand sir please try to understand so now so during your application startup context loader listener will created the parent container dispatcher and servlet will created the child container this context hierarchy also will be created so your child container beans can access parent container how to do it run as mvn install Refresh this one. Target. Copy. Paste. Now start your target. Start your target. Now here, see. Next one, sir. This code will be same, sir. I am not going to change anything with this code. Slash Srino Technologies. See, you got this. It is from the service code, it is from the hard code, it is. How to do? From the input, whatever of input will come in model, I am assigning as it is here from this service what logic will come i am assigning here what logic will come i am assigning i am assigning here understanding so this is the way how to execute it This is the way how to execute it. Now, same I told right in our previous. Here we have two one. What is to root config? Here is your web dot XML. Here, here now root config classes. If you are replacing your web dot XML with 
Java config. You need to write two config classes. One is for root container. Another one is called child container. How it is happening? Okay, next example. See. Config. Root config. Root config. Nothing is there. Only service and DAOs are there. Root config. Nothing is there. Only service and DAOs are there. Okay, that's it. Service and okay, DAOs are there. That's it. No. MVC config means you have all okay, MVC related classes are there. At the rate enable MVC. At the rate component scan. All your okay, MVC related classes are there. MVC related classes are there. These are the MVC stuff. MVC, these are the MVC stuff. Okay, now. Application of initializer. It is root config. It is MVC config. It is root config, it is MVC config. It is root config, it is MVC config. So, root config will be created by your context loader listener and MVC config will be created by a dispatcher servlet. Application of initializer class load this root config, load this, sorry, yeah, child container that's it nothing is there here now see how to deploy your application how to deploy your application team let's see team. now i'm stopping my tomcat first i will build the application Build the application. I need to deploy that only both parent and child container here. MVC okay, example on parent and using. XML configurations. Now, this example is example fifth. Bring MB check example on parent and using Java configuration. Using Java configuration. Refresh. Copy. Paste. Go to here. Shut. Okay, now done team. Go to here. Is it started application? Yes. Go to here.
concept is same output is in same only the difference is configurations how we are doing configurations hello world machine was it is from your service and how the response will come to from service end how this response will come to got it team any questions team okay till now any questions team okay till now any questions team sir please explain annotation at the red path variable sir that that don't worry i will explain here in 10th and okay 11th example okay i will explain more at the rate path variable at this stage okay don't worry okay sir we based have on the yeah so based so on annotation of, it will yeah as of now um, sir sir come again your question so based on the annotations it will be divided by container child and parent okay? no 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 not annotations based on this one controller yeah service yeah yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah yeah at the red controller service ah, and do yeah yeah okay based on the annotations it will divide that parent service and yep. uh, yep. Uh, yep. Okay. yep 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 okay okay thank you got it yes sir yeah okay team okay next one last example we will see and then we could plan for lunch team in our real time sometimes in our project team example 6 in mvc multiple dispatcher bullets sometimes in our project there would be a multiple dispatcher and servlets will be there team so at that time what happened see now multiple dispatcher every dispatcher servlet will create their own child child container every dispatcher servlet will create their own child container if two dispatcher servlets one means dispatcher servlet one child container one dispatcher servlet to two child container two now but parent container would be only one in project not according to the project requirement there will be many dispatcher and servlets would be there but but parent container is only one parent container is only one this parent container parent container will beans parent container beans like uh, service dao data source transactions container beans will share will share to all the child container in web.xml in web.xml we have to configure two dispatcher 
servlets with separate url patterns one dispatcher servlet will be taken care by mvc another okay, dispatcher will be taken care by okay, rest api changes let's assume that figure slash star slash mvc talk to mvc will talk to mvc dispatcher servlet figure slash star slash rest will give rest dispatcher servlet rest to dispatcher servlet that's it okay with rest to okay, dispatcher servlet team look at that shit how to do it how to implement it okay it will take minimum let's see team how to how to implement it xml config team multiple dispatcher go for your f.xml oh you don't have any xml java config root and multiple dispatcher here it is a root it is a one parent container mvc config means it is a one child container another rest config means it is another child container who will created this child container okay, dispatcher here hello world it is okay mvc it is okay rest what is rest and all i would explain here we have two controller this is required one dispatcher this is required another dispatcher service one service two service one is called by mvc service two will be called by rest controller now next one application initializer it is our okay, f.xml it will initialize the request if you see observe as i told here if you want to create custom code you should extend these classes if you want to create automatically like a dispatcher servlet you should go for these classes now it is my custom requirement i want to create more than one dispatcher so i need to extend or implement these classes i have to write my manual code here see here implements here i am creating this code previous example directly i am using this one means automatically dispatcher servlet object will be created now if you are creating okay if you are okay implements in these interfaces now developer has the responsibility manually to create the dispatcher servlets how see the code see how many dispatcher servlets you will create two two containers how to create dispatcher servlet first to see team annotation of application context new annotation of okay, application context context dot register what you are registering rest config rest config means it is a one child container same story same story dispatcher servlet it is a okay okay dispatcher is done annotation web mvc registered okay mvc done rest is done means two dispatcher and servlets objects are created one is mvc another one is rest but these two will be registered with whom servlet container in web.xml also it has okay registered with the servlet container here how to okay, registered servlet okay, registration 
if the request is coming from slash mvc mvc means mvc okay, dispatcher server will be okay, executed request will be coming from slash rest rest service okay, dispatcher will be created that's it now last one is for what load the your root context i mean your parent uh, container annotation config of application context context dot register of root config once all it will be done listener servlet context dot add listener adding this root context means this context loader listener has the responsibility to create the parent context okay servlet container has the responsible to create the dispatcher and the dispatcher has the responsible to create the to load the configurations to load the to create the spring container and load the configuration all it would be done sir are you clear or any confusion sir please I am implements a publication of initializer because I need to write so much of code my see I will write okay step by step go ahead here what is this code this code is used to language Java and this code is used to annotation config of application context created the spring container registered your spring container with mvc config mvc in config means what mvc in config means config classes to be loaded it is a okay. mvc config means here child container will be created it is the one child container will be created Now here what registered with child container with a okay, dispatcher servlet. It is done. Now okay, it is child container one. Now what about child container two? This is this is for dispatcher for rest one. Here also I created MVC configuration loaded into the rest config loaded into the rest config. So this one I am giving to whom dispatcher child container who will be created who will executed this dispatcher servlet servlet only will create this object right how to do here only you will write it is a good instead of writing there see added mvc dispatcher to the servlet context and servlet mapping so that it will be created added rest dispatcher to the main servlet added okay, rest of okay, dispatcher to the main context so that now here what happened so here also it is loaded for child container of rest this one is given to a okay, dispatcher why okay dispatcher only will load this one being created by who servlet child container one is done create the child container and register with the, create the child container and okay, registered with the dispatcher and dispatcher will look registered with the 
boom circulate two are done now last one what is there root container will be created root container is required for what here create the root container create the container and load root configuration and load root configuration add the root container to add the root container to context loader listener how to do this one That's what team done. Okay, everything done. Any questions, team? You can ask. Now, let's see, sir. Yes, sir. We will deploy this application. application. Then we could uh, plan to leave. How to deploy? Example seven. Be a clean install. I'm stopping this existing Tomcat. I'm going into here. Depends upon the requirement. If you call star mvc this one will execute if you call star rest this one will execute refresh copy Okay, now let's see the okay, everything is started now. Seventh one. What I will do? I will do MVC slash. MVC slash. Slash allow word. So I am calling two services, service 1 and service 2. Framework MVC means service 1 and service 2. If you go JSP, I am printing this three model value. Go to your JSP. Service 1 return, service 2 return, name. That's why here printing how many? Three values. If you give slash rest here, slash rest, slash allow one and Let's see. You got simple hello world from okay, rest controller. Hello world from rest controller. That's it, team. This is the way how to okay, execute, you know, multiple dispatchers into how to okay, execute team, multiple dispatcher servlets team.
all are clear steam any questions here theory and okay, everything team first talk session what we have okay, discussed means introduction about mvc mvc architecture mvc architecture and uh, we have started with okay, mvc okay, examples on wonderful like, examples we have seen basic examples so spring mvc with xml approach xml approach okay, xml approach means both f.xml and dispatcher hyphen bullet dot xml next one we have okay, discussed about spring mvc with xml and java config approach java config approach that means f dot xml and java config that is replacement of dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml replacement of dispatch hyphen servlet dot xml now third one spring mvc with spring mvc with java config that means no xml files no xml files both both okay replacement of xml dot xml yeah please yeah please Yes, sir. That is mandatory to go dispatcher hyphen servlet dot xml because earlier I wrote the application context dot xml. That is also. Oh. So that see, is mandatory. Manda yes, sir. No, no. It is mandatory. It is mandatory because, because if you see, if you see, if you want load, you uh, want to load. Uh, here. Here. If you see here, please be unmute. Please be unmute. Okay. Here, here. Mm -hmm. Two one, we are not two one. We are not here. First one here. Please go on muting. You might be um, forgot to identify this one. Okay, dispatcher will be available like, inside of this. Okay, by NF. Application context are okay, av available like, inside of here. Why this will be loaded by whom? Your okay, dispatcher servlet. This will be loaded by whom? Context loader listener. It is mandatory to write. I think you can you recheck once your project. Both XMLs are not available in the same place. That's why you forgot. I you know uh, you are overlooked into that. Got it? Team, is your answer cleared? Thanks, sir. I got it. Thanks, sir. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please go on. Here. Yeah. Please go on. Here. Now here, see. Now here, see. replacement. Of, replacement. Of. Please, Altaf. Um, Please, Altaf. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes, I am going. On. Okay, no. Spring MVC with Java config. No, no okay, XML meant of okay. Okay, dot XML with Java config and and replacement of replacement of dispatcher iPhone servlet with Java config. Bullet with Java config. Next one team. Spring MVC with Spring MVC with parent and child containers. 
how the parent and child container will work team we have seen okay this one also the next one team string mvc with multiple dispatcher and server let's team multiple these are the examples we have been practice in uh, in team in uh, both here with xml approach we have seen how to use e with java config approach also we have seen java config approach also we have seen team got it in okay now we are now continuing team okay first today second part team second session Now we are starting now. You try to understand team. Hope you are clear of everything till now. We will share this notes team. It's all up to you how you will okay, okay, practice it or not. It's all up to you team. Now, in your real time, what will be happening? Sometimes, so it is a cult of questions. So cult of, see, these kind of okay, use cases you might see in our project. Okay, XML. I have a okay, XML in No, okay, dot XML. Depends upon the requirement. I have a okay, XML in config team. See, only I have a okay, dispatcher. Only I have a okay, application. But earlier, earlier team. So, XML configuration. Example 8. In our project, I have XML configurations with Java config. That means in our real time, I have what is the problem statement? Problem statement team. I have parent container and field container. So, child container will have Spring MVC, parent container will have non Spring MVC. Now, how to load? How to load parent and child container without app.xml? So, with the app.xml, you might be seeing parent container is loaded is created by is created by whom context loader listener we have configured this manually in our xml file we have configured manually this in our xml file child container is created by whom dispatcher servlet this is created by whom this is created by whom let's try to understand it. this is created by whom is created by dispatcher using using here using application Context.xml file. Here using dispatcher iPhone servlet.xml file. Now done. But without a cap.xml file, go to load. See, developer has to write manual code developer has to write manual code in in 
in developer has to write manual code in the in the in our in the configuration class in the configuration class so how to load developer has to write manual code in the configuration class in the configuration class how to load see here very very okay. important team first one parent container will be load or in child container will be load which one will be load team first one parent or child one okay which one will be load team anyone you can type in chat team. parent container parent or child team parent one, container yeah please okay type it fine enough yes exactly what i am trying to say here this one team this one i am trying to do annual code i have to write here parent container since it is an okay, xml xml web application context root application context new okay xml or web application context root application context dot set config location class path application class class path or application class class path or application class add this listener add listener for root context context loader listener listener is equal to new context loader listener root application context so this servlet context to dot add listener context would be available where servlet context to dot add listener i told right if you implement sub application initializer if you implement a web application or initializer now what will be happen you have to write this code manually it depends upon the requirement right that's it it is a parent container no child container how this child containers are there you have to load first same xml web application context here class path dispatcher iphone servlet child application context child application context done child application context see here we can give okay by nf okay instead of this one the by nf instead of this one okay by nf a by nf NFT by NF. So now here dispatcher servlet. Same. Here it is context loader. Now here add this configuration to whom dispatcher servlet. Because who will create this dispatcher? Always a dispatcher will be looking for this child container. After that. Who will create this dispatcher? Servlet only. Servlet okay, register dot dynamic dot okay. Servlet context dot add servlet. Here add listener, add servlet. Dispatcher servlet. URL pattern is slash this one. See, my intention is we have okay, different okay, use cases team in your real time. What is a okay, different okay, use cases? So no okay, dot XML and we have configurations in XML file. How to handle it? So how to load these configurations? Earlier we are adding okay, XML manually. Now if a okay, dot XML is not there, we have to write manual code of inside of this web application or okay, initializer. 
annual code of web application or initializer this one thing this one thing that's it this one got it team okay everyone no, how to develop this one how to okay, deploy see sir who are asking again okay deployment please okay, let me know first i am building my application how to build how to build after building i should go for my tomcat softwares my tomcat software here please go for okay babs you can keep this also it's not a problem but loading all this uh, applications so it will take time that's why i am going into bin location bin copy how to start my tomcat i will i will tell so i am copy this my application as a var file copy into where here inside of the okay, kebabs inside of the okay, kebabs now you can start your application uh, start your okay, tomcat you start tomcat tomcat server will be started during your tomcat server will be started it will read the it will it will start this application see okay it will extract your var file if you observe here here dot var file is there it will extract this dot var file into one folder it will read okay dot xml if okay dot xml is not there it will read the class is called okay publication okay initializer class please try to understand team see you will extract it will start reading of okay by nf by nf no no and dot xml here if it is not there it will try to okay, looking for in our class path in our class path is there any is there any classes like is there any classes like web application or initializer classes available or not this class file will be loaded so you know started your tomcat and okay, everything is done let's see team how to access the okay, application how to access the okay, application team please try to understand team how to access the application team please try to understand team now here my controller is okay slash same example ptp colon local host colon Tomcat, Tomcat, okay here, go to here, hello world dynamic, class, name, name means like, hello hello world response from that's it team so this is what so we have a okay different okay use case like this use case also team we have seen okay this one also team next one hope you are good okay till now good team good okay everyone till now all good team yeah so you know any question Parent, can you ask Srinu what is your question? Code for a second, sure. What code you want? This one, right? Yeah. Tell me, sir, what is your answer? No, okay. What is your doubt?
sir are we clear sir yeah see the controller code it's a simple yeah you can check it you can check it what is there here you can check it you can ask please yeah yeah okay team yeah thank you team yeah now team now we'll see one now here see the next one team what is the next one what is the next one team see okay important to team next one Next one team, how to extract data from the URI? How to read the data? How to read the data from the URI? How to read the data from the URI team? How to read the data from the URI. Now here see sir. I have a client. I have a server. data from the URI. It is my Amazon.com team. I would say it is a HTTP request. I would say this whole is a HTTP request. I will explain in depth what is a HTTP request and all. See, this is a HTTP request to team after URI. See, I am, I, am, I am asking only books. K is equal to books. See, this whole is called query string team. This whole is called query string. This whole is called query string. The data which you are sending, the data which you are sending after host name, query string, after host name is called query string team. After host name is called query string after host name is called query string so means you are asking only books this books will be this books will be now here prepared as a query string but my uri is see how to extract the data from the uri your URI structure is it is it is your HTTP request. You if your URI structure is like this, but sometimes if your URI structure is like this, like this means simple team. I don't want to write complex. book id you can understand easily team book name here book name what you observed here can anyone guess both are uri only what you observed here can anyone guess your client is sending the data in the form of request to uri your client is sending data in the form of a okay, request to URI. So this data is in the form of query string. This data is in the form of query string. This data is in the form of path param. This 
this data is in the form of chorus this data is in the form of path param path param so when you should go it is a chorus string it is a path parameters how to read the values from the path parameters right request to param annotation is used is used to read the to read the values is used to read the values to read the values from the query string how to read the values from the path param it is used for the rate path variable is used to read the values from the path variables path params read the values from the path variables understand team just try to understand team now we are going into see how to read from the web if any data will be sending how to read the values from the request param how to read the values from the path variable i will explain when you should go for request param when you should go for path variable i will explain team now let us see let us see see query params controller controller see at the rate request param at the rate request param name required is equal to false means it is optional required is equal to true means it is a mandatory at the rate request param pin code team model model dot attributes model dot attributes model dot attributes so you are sending name all name area area name all we are as a one string you are sending it that's it and use request param better not to use not to give closing at the end because automatically it will take as a question mark team if you observe here it will take as a question mark don't use this one now done team so these are the same team i don't want okay okay explain root config parent config these are the same we have spent okay so much of time on this okay now good so our goal is how to okay, extract the data from the uri uri so now we'll see if nothing is okay required here src main a app jsp dynamic jsp all are good see okay, let's see how to build the okay, application second example also i will explain i will deploy both at once team mvn clean installed i will stop this one second one also how to read the values from the path variable see slash name slash path variable first value will come path variable second value will come path variable first value will come path variable second value will come 
to extract the data from the path variable you should go for other rate path variable to extract the data from this here you should read this at the rate path variable of, of this one team at the rate path variable of this one team how to extract the data from the uri as a path as a path still we are seeing okay mvc team i will explain more on distributed applications at that time you will be able to understand and i should go for path variable and i should go for and i should go for um, request to param i will explain interested topic team i would explain team okay yeah let's see team let's see so i would do, okay deploy this both into okay, tomcat team extract this path and queries oh, it, it has started 10th only still it is not done team let's see once 10th done i will build okay 11th one team Okay, now go ahead with 11th now here 11th also is done refresh copy to start to start if you observe here 10th example okay was loaded 11th also was loaded 10th example was loaded and 11th also was loaded okay team let us see no done all good go to your tomcat tenth eleventh started to both are static good but how to pass the data query string query string name area hyderabad pin code see hello world name is equal to srinu area is equal to hyderabad pin code is equal to query string in query string input is optional if you will not pass name what happened i will not pass name what happened 
that is the default name your name default name will come even default value also okay okay you will not pass what is the default value of the string null it will print as a null value see how to extract the data from the query string how to extract the data from the query string name is equal to srinu or name is equal to srinu tag all it would be available if you go for here path if you go for here path what is this path what is this path what is this path now we'll see what is this path 11 now we'll see path is nothing but slash dynamic name slash srinu slash hyderabad see you got the name name comma i am Combining this both, I am displaying here. Hello world, name, space, Hyderabad. Good. But in path variable, you will not pass a name. What happened? You will get 404 error. That means in path param, okay, input is the mandatory. It. We extract the data from the URI we should use at the rate data from the URI we should use at the rate request to param and at the rate path variable at the rate means query string at the rate request to param is used to extract the data from the URI, extract the query string data, extract the query string data from the URI, extract the right request to param is used to extract the query string data from the URI URI now okay, next one in query string input params input params in query string data is optional if you will not send data in query string data is optional if you will not send data in query string data is optional if you will not send data then default value will come default values will come path params at the rate Path variable is used to extract the data. The rate path variable <coughs> is used to extract the data from the extract the path data. Extract the URI path. Extract the path URI path data. From the URI, from the URI, in path params, data is mandatory. If you will not send the data in path params, data is mandatory. If you will not send the data, then 404 resource not found error will come 
section 404 resource not found error will come in path param data is mandatory if you will not send 404 error if you will not send 404 then if okay if you will not send the data then 404 404 resource not found error will come 404 resource not found error will come resource not found error will come understand team hope you are good team or any questions you are good team or any questions team all good team everyone team please okay, respond team okay, did you okay, get it team okay please okay, respond are you are you good or not yes sir yeah now okay let's see team now we'll move to other stuff team what is other stuff what is other stuff team now we'll see what is the form params validations you have your form team simple form you have your form data let us see let us see how to send the data in the form of this form data simple form it is you have instead of this i will place into we can understand easily See, forgot about all this UI and all, HTML and all, we are good. String context path, request dot get context, context path slash sample slash form. That means it will execute it. The flow will be coming to here. So what are the values are available here? label name label for user label first name last name area name pin code weekday these are the simple form data i have so okay simple form data i have if the data will be a success it is a true if status is equal to true form processing successful status is equal to false form submitted has some validation errors form action method is equal to post all these conditions ct these are the css input type is equal to text id is equal to last name id is equal to first name all good whenever you will give submit flow will go to where here it will read the data of your controller here here we have a form data how many elements are there first name last name area name pin code weekday all are not null if you send any value as null it will throw an error pin code minimum is 6 max is 6 that means length should be 6 if you give greater than 6 and less than 6 it will also give an error weekday not null valid weekday you can't give your own uh, weekday okay string let's see so binding result validation result if validation result has errors then status is equal to false if validation result has no errors means this if condition will not be executed then status is equal to true 
in mvc ultimately it returns what what logical name your internal view resolver what is the logical name of the file name sample form it will executed what is there here if status is equal to false form submitted has validations if status is equal to true this one will be executed that is what i am trying to show you okay so here what you understood here how to extract the your form data using model attribute this data will be binding to which one if any errors are there binding result is the predefined class which will take care if any of errors are there it will hold that all the your errors team it will hold the all the errors it will display all the errors team okay now let's see let's see team now we'll see yeah okay now this one how to extract the data from the body so generally http request to body will be sent in the form of http request to body will be sent in the form of http post method http post method http post method model attribute will take care will take care to read the form data and binding bind bind into java bean bind into java bean so during during conversion during during binding to java bean if any if any errors found if any errors found then binding result will be executed if any errors would be during binding to java bean if any errors found then binding result will be executed binding result will be executed which will hold which will hold all the which will hold all the errors it will hold all the error details understand team okay now let us see we'll deploy team How to execute this form data? refresh target 
copy now go to here I started my dumb cat. So oh, it is like this. Start the dumb cat. Let us see how it happens. Look at him. Next one. See? Next one team. What is the next one? See, please concentrate. Next one team. Now, oh. here. Good. Go for this form validation. If I will give slash sample slash form, it will go to which one sample form. Sample form will be executed. If it is get means this one will be called. If it is post means this one will be called team. Now see team. In simple form Sreno Sreno Tech Hyderabad 5 lakhs 1 8. I am giving less than 6. You got error. Form submitted has errors. What is errors? In SOP, we have printed errors. See, we are printed in the validation errors in the form data. Validation result dot get to field errors. Validation errors in the form data field error object pin code rejected value code size must to be 6. Okay, now if I give that one now, see, Sri, no. Pin code one eight Monday form processing okay successful no logs will be printed here no errors will come only for form data would be okay successful which was uh, printed here understood team which was printed here. Any questions team? Any questions team till now? Any questions team? All okay everyone? Any questions? Okay everyone? Any questions team? Everyone team please okay, respond. Okay, did you got it okay till now? Did you get it team okay everyone? Okay, okay till now team? Okay, till now okay everyone? Yes yes. Good. Now this MVC I am closing intentionally. We are closing this MVC. Now, see, now very, very important. Did you remember or not? Spring MVC is used to develop. Very, very important. To develop. Web applications as well as web application as well as web application as well as 
publication as well as distributed applications. Publication as well as distributed applications. Now, these days, market, no one will be using. Please, no one will be using. Please, sir, please, no one will be using. A publication development will be Spring MVC is not using. Spring MVC is not using to develop web applications. So now, so instead, reason is, reason is, since it is in Java, why, why, since, because of below reasons. because of below regions. So it should be, it should be no here. See, we need, we need web container is required. Is maybe open source or license. Then second one, the processing time will take more these of applications are not lightweight applications. So many of regions didn't think. So what this market market is using JavaScript, JavaScript MVC, MVC frameworks, MVC frameworks to develop web applications instead of instead of spring mvc some of the javascript mvc applications are one is angular another one is react another one is another one is Vue.js, another one is Angular, React, Vue.js, another one is, okay, so Angular, React, Vue, all, and so on. See, in the market, these are the using team. You may ask, sir, why we are spending our time from morning to evening. See, this knowledge is helpful to understand distributed applications. That's why, I took this course as a Spring MVC with Spring RESTful App Services. To understand okay, RESTful App Services, to understand, to understand Spring RESTful App Services or Spring Boot, Spring Boot applications, Spring Boot, okay. Spring Boot, okay. REST APIs. Spring MVC knowledge mandatory. Spring MVC knowledge mandatory. Spring MVC knowledge mandatory. Mandatory. Now, please try to understand. So, now, so. Now, to develop distributed applications using using Spring MVC, to develop means developing web services using either soap based web services or rest based web services. Soap based web services market stopped using them. Market stopped using this. Everyone will follow the 
rest based web services team so rest based web services we should we should learn because market is implementing this one market most of the projects are using now here most of the projects are most of the projects are using the okay now ready are we ready team now so hope you got basic idea about the okay, mvc team you got some basic idea about mvc okay everyone so everyone team basic idea about mvc yes, yeah now we are good team so we are good to start with restful okay services team very very okay, important team very very important we are going to talk about in depth all the concepts team all the concepts let's see restful okay services team now see try to understand i have yet two persons team person a person b how these two persons can communicate with each other team so if this person a is calling hi person b is telling hello person a is saying hi person b is replying hello is replying hello okay how this communication was happening team this communication was happening via through air waves through air waves you know these guy words will be listened by b and b words will be listened by a got it through some air waves okay now similarly i have two systems team system 1 and system 2 system 1 and system 2 now please try to understand even a, a, a 10th class guy also can sit in the classroom you should understand what is okay rest api that is my goal please now here it is a system a it is system b system a and system b now now here what happened how to communicate these two systems team to communicate these two systems compulsory some protocols are required to communicate with these two systems some protocols are required those protocols are ttp protocol tp protocol SMTP protocol. These protocols are required. It will give response. It will give a response. Okay. System A and okay, system B T. System A and system B. okay please try to understand so now system a is trying to send the information hello system b my name is 
A, B, C. My qualification is X, Y, Z. My name is A, B, C. My qualification is okay, X, Y, Z. My address is P, Q, R. My PIN code is this one. And my city is state is so please try to understand you are sending data in this format to this system b system b will give will slap like anything to a he will he will give again left and right of anything to a what you will give hey system a what is this abc what can i understand with this abc is your abc is name is your xyz is a address how can i understand if you are sending data in this format uh, system a i can't understand this data what you are sending because this data is the unstructured data. If this data is not structured data, so I can't understand system A. I can't understand system A. Please send data in the structured format then. What the system A will do? Okay, boss, no problem. I will send in okay structured way. How this okay structured way will be there? How this okay structured way will be there? Same data now. Hello, boss. My name is ABC. My name is ABC. And my qualification is X, Y, Z. And my address is PQR. Please try to understand team. And my PIN code is this one. And my, and my, and my city. And my state. This is what how it is happening. City and state. Cut it. City and state. Now. Now this system A sending data in this format to system B. In this format to do say one second in this format to do system B in this format to do system B. Okay, now the next one. Next one in this format to 
सिस्टम भी ओके टीम लेट्स सी नाउ सिस्टम बीइंग कैन अंडरस्टैंड इजीली आर नॉट व्हाई इट इज द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टैक्स ए बी सी इज ए नेम एक्स वाई इन जेड इज ए क्वालिफिकेशन पी क्यू आर इज ए एड्रेस 232323 is not a mobile number it is a pin code x axis is the city is it able to can understand okay okay easily or not team now see this is called structured data this is called structured data i can say the structured data is nothing but xml this is called structure sir i will explain what is xml why it should go for xml i will explain all please be on hold okay it is called structured data no structured data is an okay xml if you want to communicate to be between two systems you should have a structured data that structured data is nothing but xml that structured data is nothing but xml xml understand now you will see now you will see one more st structured data this one more structured data is nothing but i would explain sir later what is all name abc qualification xyz address in code Now, CD. Now, state. Sorry, as per above, X X X. State. Why did it? So oh, it is also a structured data. You will be sending data in this format to Y system. Hey, you can understand. No problem. It is also a structured data. I would say this structured data is. So it is also a structured data. So this structured data is nothing but JSON. JSON. -T. i would say here also it is also called structured data data is nothing but json structured data is nothing but json json t what is json how it is works this json and all now we'll see practically structured in json is structured data is nothing but json json okay the next one thing next one okay next one thing what is the next one so if you want communicate communicate two systems then the data should be structured data you want to communicate to two systems then the data should be structured data like uh, xml or json so on 
Are we clear, okay, everyone? Are we clear, everyone? Okay, everyone, clear team till now. Please okay, respond in chat team. Okay, everyone is clear. Good, good team. Now, XML, comma JSON, languages are not specific to one technology. That that is every technology. Every technology like Java, .NET, PHP, Java, .NET, PHP, SAP, MuleSoft, and so on. Every technology developers should learn, should learn XML and Java. These are not specific to particular technologies. These are not specific to particular technologies. Okay. Now, let's see team. Now, now please try to understand. Now, now here see. I have developed one application. I have developed one application. Good. I have developed one application. This application came what happened? Let's assume that this guy is a Yahoo guy. Yahoo company has developed one application. That application is called Weather Service. So later, you know, what this Weather Service uh, information will give? It will give input is city output is it will give just a simple look at temperature weather look at temperature input is in city name output is called look at temperature name okay that's it now there are so many are there in the market what are the so many are there yahoo here we have so many are there in the market. Amazon. This is one system. This is another system. Amazon. eBay. Flipkart. Yahoo guy is using Java technologies. Before web, web services, what happened, you know, Amazon, and I log in into Amazon, Amazon want to show the, based on the user location, user city, Amazon display the okay, temperature, Amazon okay, display the okay, temperature, based on the eBay users, it will okay, display the okay, temperature. Now here see, before in Java means, Earlier, we are using developing Java. How? See, what is a okay, distributed application? What is a okay, distributed application? Okay, team. First, a okay, distributed application team. I would explain, okay, what is a okay, distributed applications? There is a one object in one JVM, one object in one J JVM, please try to understand it. It is object to T. JVM1, it is a JVM1, JVM2, JVM3. Here you have a object 1. Object 2. Object 3. There is a one object in one JVM is trying to access another object which is available in another JVM is called Java Distributed Technologies. There is a one object in one JVM 
is trying to access another object one object in one jvm is trying to access another object which is available in another jvm is called java distributed technologies so now please try to understand team now see okay object is trying to each other another object is done but if you are trying to send this data some confidential data will be there card number cvb number expiry date and all so whenever you are sending this data to from one object to, to another object some confidential data will be there this confidential data hackers will be there hackers can able to see this confidential data so to overcome this how to send data in confidential way there are so many okay okay distributed okay, technologies are came into the market one is rmi another one is ejb another one is web services this okay, web services might be so far rest rest to based web services team now so using this okay, technologies we can send our data as a confidential way okay now let's see team okay let's see team now if you use this here you can use before before a cap services we are using rmi and ejb i don't want to talk too much rmi and of ejb but what is the drawback here you know if you are developing any applications in rmi and ejb your amazon should be write the client code in java only your ebay should be java only flipkart should be java only because because there is no guarantee all the organizations will use same technologies my dot net client can't able to access this yahoo my dot net client can't able to access this yahoo so let's assume that another one is like snapdeal snapdeal guy is using dot net but the snapdeal guy can't able to access can't able to access snapdeal guy can't able to access hmm, my java application so before this app services coming into the picture so if you develop any application in java only java clients only can able to access if you develop any application in dotnet only dotnet client only can able to access if you develop any application in php only php only can able to access okay before before app services if you develop any application any distributed application then only that technology only that okay, technology clients only only that technology clients can able to access access see because of this drawbacks is you know please because of this what are the okay, drawbacks please try to understand the okay, drawbacks I am developing. See, these guys will pay in terms of crores. Amazon, eBay, Flipkart, okay, in terms of crores to this Yahoo guy to provide this weather information. But 
my business is restricting to only java clients only i can't provide my services to other than the java clients this is the problem so we are losing the we are losing the revenue we are losing the business other than java clients we are only sell our product to to only java clients only we can't sell our product other than the java clients we can't sell our product other than the java clients other than the java clients understood other than the java clients to overcome these problems web services has coming into the picture how now we'll see actual game will start now to overcome this problem web services has coming into the picture see to overcome these problems okay web services has introduced into the market to overcome these problems all the companies like ibm microsoft okay and microsoft system oracle sit together introduced a concept is called app services introduced a concept is called web services it together introduced a concept is called app services understood team okay everyone team are you clear okay everyone or any questions team are you clear everyone or any questions team introduced a concept is called app services team introduced a concept is called okay services now what is okay services we'll see very very okay, important i'm moving into next paint what is okay services please now there is a one organization one company has developed one application let us assume that that application is maybe let us assume that that application is maybe yahoo only you can assume that this guy using which technologies dot net let us assume that what is this service name either application whoever has developed this service we are calling in a terminology is called provider service provider service provider service provider please try to understand service provider now here now my amazon guy flipkart guy ebay want to access this application let's assume that amazon is using java here this guy will be using php flipkart is using php now ebay ebay is using dot net ebay is using dot net amazon flipkart ebay is using dot net no amazon flipkart ebay ebay is using dot net okay now okay, next one okay next one now here what happened okay, let's see team. these are called okay different technologies but 
how to access this applications to my this guy now here see very very important and ever this amazon will provide this service one second whenever amazon this provide this service called provider here is what happened other service this guy is called yahoo guy is try to understand it so here this guy is java this guy is php this guy is okay dot net so this provider guy if this guy is developed a service in so based web services developing this service is so based web services double sdl is there rest based web services swagger is there is double sdl in the form of xml swagger is in the form of json or yaml what is there okay inside of this service name can let us assume that this guy is how to write one simple service public interface the service i am writing one simple thing in dot net let's assume that as ampl implements other service Here, one simple method is called the request request. Here, we have to write okay, implementation stuff. Write your okay, implementation. Write okay, implementation class. Write okay, implementation logic. Simple D. What is there inside of this digital double SDL? Please, very, very important to you. What is the definitions of your service? What is the interface name? All are like XML. Interface name and uh, interface name and uh, what is the input? What is the output? What is the definitions? What is the input and what is the output? Interface name, input and output. Interface name, input and output. Okay. And what is the now here? Elements, input and output, elements. Everything will be there in the form of XML. Interface name. What is the name of the interface? We will not have any implementation class. Interface name of the interface. What is the input name? As a request. What is the output name? As a request. As a okay, response. Here, okay, input and okay, output okay, elements name. Input and output elements names. Element names. Input and output element names. Input and output element names. Okay, everything will be there in the form of either XML or in the form of either JSON. This, if it is soap based web services, double SDL. If it is a crest based web services, swagger. These details will be shared to all the consumers. Whoever is accessing our applications, it is called as a consumer. It is called as a consumers. See, by using this WSDL or Swagger, this guy will be prepared the request in which technology is Java. Because Amazon knows in Java only. Prepare the 
request object in java so now i cannot send this request object to, to prepare this request object in which technology is java prepare the request object in which technology is java why amazon guys knows only java only now this amazon is trying to send a java request to your consumer sending a java request to your consumer and never see it is a java request if you are directly send your java request okay, let's assume that yahoo guy will be using maybe dot net you are directly sending request to your java this dot net guy can't understand what you are sending at consumer end some processors are there these processors are converting your java object into xml java object into either xml or json web based web services of okay, xml rest based web services json send this xml 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 to whom your provider at provider end provider end what happened you got received this okay, xml okay, xml is not specific to any technologies provider end what happened you got this okay xml at provider end what these guys will do here you know at provider end convert this xml into json to request object in which technology is dot net why these guys don't know java here here is a request object in here is a request object in java but here is a request object in dot net java request object here dot net request object now this dot net request object is given to whom your client this guy will process the request please try to understand team i would explain again and again so it may take okay, some time to inject into your brain please try to understand now here it is process the request why this guy understand only dot net this guy will give the okay, response response which technology is this guy will give a okay, response prepare the response object in dot net only because this yahoo guy knows only dot net only prepare the response object in dot net prepare the response object in where dot net send this dot net okay, response object to whom your consumer but your consumer is java he can't understand the dot net what provider end some processors are there your dot net object will be converting into xml or json send your xml or json to whom your consumer at consumer end some processors will be there at consumer end some processors will be there consumer can able to process only java object only what this consumer will do so take this what this consumer will do take this xml convert this xml or json to java object java object java object send this a response object to whom this consumer 
this consumer. Understood team. Now, if it is Flipkart, if it is Flipkart, now here, do you think here, can you tell answer here, consumer knows and here, provider knows which technologies consumer is sending team? Did you understand my question? Is your provider, did the provider knows what technologies your consumer is using? No. 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 Why? This guy is always okay, receiving request is XML. Always sending response is okay, XML. Your provider don't know what technologies your consumer will be using. Your consumer don't know what technologies your provider will be sending. Now, if it is, if it is Flipkart. Now, here what happened? I want to use if it is Flipkart. Same I should use in Flipkart. Same I should use in Flipkart. Now, what happened? See, here, prepare the request object in in which tech, technology is PHP at consumer end some processors will be there at consumer end some processors will be there those processors convert your PHP object into XML send XML to your provider at provider end convert your XML to Java object sorry dot okay, net object because this guy is the dot net guy your provider has the responsibility convert your xml to dot net object your provider will process the request and the provider will always send your response in which technology is dot net only why provider don't know any, anything other than this dot net he will prepare the response in which technology is dot net only okay send at the provider end some processors are there send this okay response object to which one xml this xml will go again here convert your response of xml into php why your flipkart guy can understand only php last one here consumer is dot net provider also dot net do you need a .NET or okay, XML, XML to .NET? Do you need a okay, .NET or okay, okay, XML? Okay, I hear okay, XML to okay, .NET team. Please, okay, respond. Do you need or not? All others. Please, okay, respond team. Need. Do you need or not? Others, please. Either it is correct or right, please, okay, respond team. No. Okay. Need. 100% it is required because this provider is sharing WSDL or Swagger your consumer don't know provider is using each technologies consumer has only this WSDL and Swagger consumer don't know provider is using which technologies consumer don't know Provider either Java, .NET or PHP. Consumer only required either WSDL or Swagger. WSDL or Swagger. If he got the WSDL and Swagger. So you don't know whether your provider is using Java, .NET or PHP. So even though both are using same technologies, we are not sure what technologies my provider and consumer is using your eBay guy also has prepared the request object in which technologies dot net at consumer end some processors will be there convert your dot net object to, to XML send this XML to your provider at provider end some processors will be there send this okay, xml to again dot net to xml consumer end dot net to xml provider end xml to dot net request object provider will process the request provider will process the request 
provider will always he knows only dot net he will give the dot net response convert the dot net response into xml again this okay, okay xml will be converting into dot net okay, response object dot net okay, response object go to this here go to this here understanding that's it thing this is what how it happens now so irrespect here provider don't know consumer using which technologies consumer don't know provider is using which technologies always provider will receive the request in the form of xml he will convert xml into his own technologies process the request he will prepare the response object in his, his own technologies and our outgoing this guy will be sending also xml consumer will convert of xml or json to java object let us assume that so let us assume that if it is both provider and consumer is java okay let us assume that both provider and consumer is java please try to understand please try to understand both provider and consumer is java even as per our assumption we are giving java but now these guys don't know so it is also since we are java developers team we are assuming both are java team this guy is the provider this guy is the consumer so service name is other service service name is weather service service name is weather service team service name is weather service team okay let's see okay, next one so you you know what is input and output of everything he will share the both are java team but we know java but actual they don't know java this guy may be amazon okay, let's assume that amazon team now here what happened this provider will share the wsdl or swagger document to whom consumer provider will sh share the wsdl or swagger documentation now here what happened by reading that wsdl wsdl is in the form of xml swagger is in the form of json by reading this swagger and okay wsdl he will prepare the request object how the okay request object is there i will tell you he will prepare the request object how the okay request object is there see request object how the okay request object is there please try to understand it the request request is equal to new the request as i am the java i should write code in java only request dot set location hyderabad set location hyderabad now request to dot set okay location is equal to hyderabad or something and never now i want to send this okay request to data I want to send this request to data to who my provider. How to send? And never you are trying to send your request to data to your provider at consumer end. Some processors are there. Your request object will be converting into XML. How this XML? Either service, either request. Sorry, either request. location sir big big okay, elements are there in since it is an okay, introduction i am writing small small application at the request now by seeing this code can you tell it is a java or okay, it is a xml it is a dot net or okay, it is a php team no so convert this request object into xml understood sir convert this okay, request object into xml 
convert this request object into json this is xml this is json this is xml this is json do you think by seeing this xml can you tell it is a java or dot net or php team please let me to our team by seeing this xml can you tell java or dot or php team no this xml data or json data will be sending to whom team your provider who, who will convert java to object java to json okay i will explain to him please okay don't worry so the same data will go to where your provider either xml or json at provider end some processings are there they will convert at provider end some processings are there they will convert this request object into request in json into java object java object if it is dot net dot net object if it is php php object if it is php php object not done next one sir please see it here here this is called request object oh, this is called okay, request object send this okay request object Give this okay, request object to, to whom your provider. See, no. For every request in web services, for every request in web service, for every request here, consumer end, convert Java object to, to XML or JSON and provider end, convert xml or json to java object for every request here similarly for every response provider convert java object to, to xml or json consumer and convert xml or json to java object for every request here consumer convert java object to xml or json provider and convert okay, xml or json to java object for every response provider convert java object to xml or json consumer and convert xml or json to java object json to java object understood team now please see if you want same structure team if you want to follow what happened okay, instead of request here we will go for a response team okay, instead of a request here we will go for a response here what this guy will be prepared team a response object at consumer end a response object will be converting into xml or json this will go to your provider uh, sorry consumer at consumer end again this okay, response object will be converting into xml or json team that means see if it is a response flow he will process the request he will process the request now he will prepare the response object he will process the request he will process the request he will give response he will send the okay, response object 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 how here okay, response object are there here send the okay, response object this response object at provider end some processors will be there 
see how to prepare the response object other response response is equal to new other response other response response is equal to new other response response dot set temperature degrees are okay something whenever your provider will prepare the response we don't know provider is using okay which the technologies but at the provider end some processors are there these processors will converting into either XML or JSON either XML or JSON how this okay, XML and JSON structure would be there either response either response the response no so temperature how much this okay temperature would be 30 temperature t 30 now here what happened here here you should see if it is json how it happens we should go for temperature 30 plus 2 team done team so these response are json will go to where your consumer at consumer end some processors will be there these processors will be converting your xml json to again here java object again here java object again here java object that's it i'm not writing all this stuff here provider don't know Consumer is using which technologies and the consumer don't know provider is using its technologies. What is meant by and service? There is a service irrespective of the technologies can able to access that service is called app service. App service is an interoperable. App service is an interoperable. There is a one service okay there is a one service which is enabled in the internet irrespective of the consumers irrespective of the technologies consumers can able to access that service is called app service here app service is an interoperable interoperable means you know it is a mediator of all the technologies now here question is who will convert who will convert XML to Java object. Java object to XML. Answer is Jaxp. Answer is Jaxp. Question is Who will convert JSON to Java object? Java object to JSON. Answer is Jackson. Answer is Jackson. Jackson. If it is Java Jackson, if it is .NET, maybe .NET technology is also this kind of a okay, framework is there. Maybe in PHP also, every technologies will have their own frameworks would be there sorry every technologies their own frameworks would be there maybe dot net b will be there maybe a dot net will be there every technologies their own Binding frameworks are there. These technologies will be helpful to convert XML to Java object and Java see their okay, technology object to XML and XML to their 
technology subject if it is php same here php also may be a php b and php it will be there maybe we don't know because since we are the java developer we should we should learn only java we should learn only java if it is php we should you know php developers should learn in how the php b will be there and php json will be there okay team now here see so since we are in java we should learn in where java technologies so we should learn in jaxb and we should learn in jackson we should learn in jaxb and we should learn in jackson that's it so dotnet developers will learn dotnet and php developers will learn in php stuff team got it team so this is what introduction about the app services so we'll stop today tomorrow first one hour i will explain jaxb and jackson next i will start our spring rest of examples how the spring rest of examples will work okay team are we clear team first day okay any doubts team are we clear team first day okay any doubts team day one any doubts team hope you are getting okay everything team or okay, anyway getting more team please okay, let me know team okay is it uh is it style of teaching is okay or you want some fast or you want some slow i will give okay document all document by two mvc app service architecture app service architecture if you observe with these things if you observe with these things have you seen anywhere ui team here is your provider ui is there is your provider ui is required team okay presentation is required for your provider consumer leave it provider is it okay presentation is required team team those who are okay, active on okay studies please okay, respond team if you see our architecture of your web service is your provider is okay required team is your provider is okay required this uh, okay ui team because always provider is okay receiving a request in the form of xml always provider is okay receiving a request is in the form of okay, xml then is your provider is okay required is ui no provider and provider is not required for any ui that's why not very very okay, important note team it is note so no web services can be developed in two ways in in two in two terminologies web services in web services there are two terminologies one is service provider another one is service consumer service provider one is service provider another one is service consumer service provider service provider to develop service no need ui to develop service ui or presentation layer is not required because always it is expecting always it is okay always it is okay expecting always it is okay expecting input as either xml or json service consumer service provider service consumer 
to develop service consumer may or may not required ui may or may not required ui or presentation layer depends on requirements depends on requirement now here see may or may not okay required ui okay depends upon the okay requirement team okay depends upon the okay requirement okay depends upon the okay requirement team okay any questions team okay you can ask me please i am happy to help any questions now yes now we will start slowly team now we will start slowly how this happened what this happened now now we will start slowly team let's see team one second yeah now here see now that's why first our focus is okay this one team next i will explain this one also team how it works and all okay i will explain this one also team okay team now next we will see team okay now next we will see so first step of team how to work with xml and what is your xml team first we will see one some simple quotes team what is xml i have product i have product simple team product id product name product price description quantity that's it id is equal to name is equal to price is equal to description is equal to quantity is equal to now so first we will write some few small okay notes team okay, xml xml l formed what is okay, xml l formed team xml okay, l formed means it should uh, l formed means follow the correct syntax follow the correct syntax that means number one for xml only one root element how many your root elements team only one for xml only one root element how many team only one for xml only one root element for every start element end element is mandatory for every start element end element is mandatory see start element end element is mandatory now third one thing all xml elements are xml elements are case sensitive xml elements are case sensitive xml okay, elements are case sensitive means if the start letter is capital okay end letter also will be in capital you can't write your own you can't write like this thing okay now so now xml data should be xml datum should be readable readable or parsable readable or parsable thing so now here now, this is simple about a xml team what is mean by xb is it xml is a l format xml or not team this one can anyone explain now when compared with these rules yes it is well format xml team now what is mean by jacksb the process of converting java object to json the process of converting java object to json sorry java object to xml and xml to java object is called jacksb that means it is also called marshalling marshalling means the process of java object to xml unmarshalling means the process of converting xml to java object is called unmarshalling 
XML to Java object is called unmarshable. So it is my XML thing. It is my XML. Now, what is my Java class? Public class. Product. What are the properties? Private string ID. Private string name. Private float price. Private string description. Private int. Here we have setters and getters. Here we have the setters and getters. Now here what happened? See the process of converting converting Java object into XML is called. So it is my XML. It is my Java object. How to prepare Java object? Product P is equal to new product. Product P is equal to new product. P dot set ID. P dot set name. P dot let's try to understand team. Hope you know how to prepare a Java object. If you don't know, I, I can't do anything. It is my Java object. I am preparing Java object. I am preparing Java object. If you know this basics, okay, trust me, basics are very, very important. If you don't know this basics, you can't do anything in the market, okay, trust me. Okay, it is my Java object. Now, the process of, now I have Java object, Java class, I have Java object. I should give this Java object to whom? My, now I am doing marshalling thing now. What is mean by marshalling? Marshalling is nothing but Java object to, to XML. I am giving to my, whom I am giving, my Jaxby I am giving. How to giving? Jaxby context, context is equal to Jaxby context to dot new instance. I will show you all this practically. Don't worry. Context to dot create parceler. No. Context to dot create marceler. If you give, if you give, if you give context to dot create marceler, if you give Java object, it will give XML. It will give XML. I will show you how this is XML and all. Let's see. That's it. I will show you practically team. POC is also I will give. What is unmarshalling XML to Java object? What is unmarshalling XML to Java object? The processing of convert to XML to Java object is called unmarshalling. That means same code, Jaxby context. Jaxby context. Context dot create unmarshaler. Here input is XML. Output is Java object. What is Java object here? Product is the Java object. What is XML here? Product dot XML. Understood team.